Okie dokie, Breads and Cookie. This is the 77th Bro Drill Cup, and I am your host, Essien Sky, and we are going to start the match right away. It is going to be none other than Nekozido against Lol Newer. Nekozido, who has been dabbling with several other characters than Potemkin recently, so definitely looking forward to see how this is going to pan out. And immediately, as you can see, uh, Nekozido is actually playing, uh, is playing Axel, um, unlike his usual uh, main character, who is Potemkin. So let's see how this pans out. Okay, okay, here we go with a big rain of water right off the bat. Gets the, uh, the counter hits and immediately converts into a combo, which pushes Lolnuer in the corner. Lolnuer has a lot of problems getting out of it, not gonna lie. Here we go with Nikozido getting the hit with the snail. And that was an unfortunate burst and just like this, just like this. Nikozido takes it with a very clean, perfect right off the bat. Let's see how Lawnewers is going to adapt to it. We shall see. Okay, and here we go with the second round. And here we go with the Len Sengeki. Very nice. Uh, very nice conversion right there from Nikozido. Again, pushing Lawnewer into the corner. With the standing P and tiring Lawnewer very effectively. Lonier, wow, my lord, just dashing forward, going straight under the pressure of Nikozido. And Nikozido going with the rainwater in the once. Oh, man, my lord. Lonier just flying from one uh, from one spot of the uh, arena to the other, right onto Nikozido. But he wasn't able to make anything out of it, unfortunately. Here we go with Lonier getting hit by the standing, uh, the close S, I'm sorry. Very nice mix mix finally. Lonier got something going, but unfortunately gets stopped by the standing P man. The standing P has been doing a lot of work right there for Nikozido. Like completely preventing Lonier from doing anything and again with an unfortunate burst, but this time around, Nikozido is not able to make anything out of it. And here we go with the Lens and Giki for the kill. And just like this again, Nikozido takes it very, very, very quickly. Second round goes to Nikozido extremely quick. Anyways, that being said, here we go with again the 2S man and tiring. Mm. Here we go with the Lin Sengeki. Okay, here we go with the Rainwater. Nikozido still on the onslaught, still preventing Lonier from doing anything really. And here we go with the world. Nikozido with them combos, man. Not a Axel main by any means, but definitely looks like one right now. And just like this, we're on set point. That was an extremely, extremely quick first game, if I might say. But we never know. Lolnir might be able to make a comeback. That being said, if he manages to do so, it will be extremely, extremely surprising. But yeah, Lolnir is just having a lot of problems just getting in. You can see him, like, really struggling just to go past all of these barriers of... Standing P of 2, 2, 2 H, S, A. Oh, Lord, and here we go with the confirm and a standing P for the kill. And just like this, Nikozido takes it. This is a kill. Rooka rocking that mean Eno, man. That very, very mean Eno. Let's see how this pans out. I haven't seen a lot of Enos up until now. Well, except, obviously, the Eno, Darino. So I am definitely interested to see what is going to happen. Uh, Gina... Gina, are you here? If you are, please contact your opponent. <coughs> um, wait one second. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to trouble because... There's somebody... Uh... So it's... it's... Your opponent is waiting for you. Mm. <clears throat> okay, okay, here we go with the Vapor Thrust for the kill. And here we go with the Dire Ekla. Oh my lord, in the wake up. The wake up for TC Mobile. Roka ends up taking the first round of this set. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the 2S. Nobody home though. Oh my lord. And Kale, man, entiring the dive attempt right there from Roka extremely efficiently. Oh, that was a very interesting way to get out of the corner. Very cheeky one though. Gets grabbed right by coming back on the ground. Here we go with the over. Roka finding the opening. 
Kale being very, very patient, using the standing K to block both uh, oh, grounded and hover attempts from Luka and Kale. Man, look at the damage right there. Woo, this time around, not afraid, still not afraid to actually con continue the pressure. Oh, Lord, he resorts to using the uh, the Roman Cancel to try to bait possibly the burst. There we go, punish on the uh, standing. Oh, my Lord, and look on the verge of taking it, goes low. Okay, goes, oh, Lord, and the match right there from Kale and finds the opening and the kill at the same time. Good stuff from Roka. Okie dokie. So, uh... Okay, here we go. Okay, sorry for the wait. And that being said, here we go with the over for the kill by Roka manages to take the first match extremely convincingly and we are going to have a connection error, we need to restart. I mean, I'm I'm sure I, I talked about it during our last Brojo Cup because we had, of course, connection errors, but all they would need to do is that if the spectating uh, individual has a connection error then it and gets kicked out uh, off of the, 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 the booth, it needs to kick out the players as well. It's they. It's all they really need need to do, you know, because I, I don't really mind having the connection error. What I mind is being me, the spectator, being kicked off of the boot. The, the only person being kicked off of the boot, and the player is just continuing playing because they don't know that I have been kicked off of the boot. This is the only thing that really, really, really annoys me. But yeah, hopefully they will solve it uh, sooner rather than later. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not holding my my breath, man. Six months plus before they made notice of the hacker. Yeah, I know, right? The hacker issue took so long before being addressed, and I mean, it's not new, you know? It's so crazy, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully it'll, you know, hopefully um, it'll be dealt with sooner rather than later. I really hope so. Okay, and here we go with ah, the over again by Roka for the kill. Good stuff. Uh, got the first round of the second match. Here we go. Oh, very nice interrupt right there from Kel again, though. Roka committing to the 2K, man. And not afraid, man. Both players not respecting each other's, like, offense. It's crazy. Yeah, definitely made, like, a tournament mode would be useful. I know, right? Yeah, just a tournament mode. That, that would solve so much problem, you know? If the... If the... Uh, oh, Lord, and nice burst, but Roka not committing to it. This is unfortunate. But the thing is that, yeah, it's, it's really easy. It's... I'm sure... It is so easy to solve. Just make it so that everybody kicks, gets kicked off of the boot if even a single person has a, a, a connection. Or that's the only thing they need to know, man. That's really all they need to do. It's not a problem. It's not so complicated, I feel. Okay, very well. Very nice punish. Oh, okay. Just a aerial grab, but still going to get the RC extension for the kill. Good stuff from Kill. Puts one on the board as well. We have... One to one so far, no connection error. I am happy. <laughs> I shouldn't jinx it though. I shouldn't talk too much about it. Uh, I'm going to uh, definitely jinx it if I continue. <clears throat> Okie dokie, breads and cookie, and on to the rest of the battle. Very nice uh, attempt to use the uh, the stroke right there from Roka to go underneath the fireball of Kale. But no, oh, and the wake up gold burst from Kale gets punished adequately by Roka, man. And still, Kale committing to pressing buttons, man, during what would have been normally the turn of Roka. Kale, very, very uh, courageous individual, if I might say. Wow, man, that was an unfortunate use of the chemical. Oh, and he dropped the combo. He had the killing. Please don't regret it. Oh, I hope you're not going to redirect it. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, that was a very cheeky Megalo right there. Megalomania, man. Megalovania? Megalomania, I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep calling him Megalovania. But very nice stuff right there from Kale, man. Well, that being said, Roka was out of range. That, that's not so much uh, a good stuff from Kale. It's more of a unfortunate spacing from Roka. He was a little bit out of range to hit his opponent with the Megalomania right there. And uh, yeah, and Kale just... Well, fortunately for Kale, he didn't press a button like most players tend to do. Oh, that was an unfortunate oh, combo, but still, Raka manages to take it with the perfect. Definitely not happy to see that kill was able to was able to get out of the megalomania pressure right there. Yeah, definitely wants his revenge. 
his revenge. And here we go with the knockdown by kill. Stick pressure. Ooh, I'm gonna get some big combo right there off of the uh, the the um, Diary Club, I think. Hmm? Diary Club? Diary Club. Yeah, it's Diary Club. I still need to learn the name of the uh, attacks. And here we go. Goes low and high again. Where are you, Rokasan? What are you doing? Oh, very nice Thunderbird there from Kill. He had the kill, but unfortunately, Luca did have. Ooh! Oh, my lord, the quick dust for the kill by Kill. And Kill! Oh, lord, wait. The big, the, the fast dust, the quick dust uh, to kill by Kill. Yeah, to kill by Kale. I'm sorry, this is really hard to pronounce right there. This is a tongue twister. That being said, Kill takes the. Uh, takes the. Uh, are Eto, Sansaki des, Sansaki des, Atoi. Is Rokka-san changing characters? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, nothing, nothing. I think... Hmm, I think maybe Rokka wanted to... To... Hmm? Hey, dozo, dozo. Sansaki desu. Ah, wait, just one second. Maybe they send me something in the chat. San Saki des. Yenzai. Oh, okay. wow! Rokka, man! Rokka is maybe he's going to rock Testament. Holy crap! Good lord! Let's see, let's see, let's see. I want to see this. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, you don't need to see me. <laughs> wow, Rokka rocking the Testament right there. This is definitely, definitely, definitely something I'm looking forward to see. He wants to change characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted to change characters. Exactly. I thought that he thought it was like uh, first to two, but he knows. He knows. He knows. No problem. Okay, here we go with Luca changing characters to Testament. Oh, uh, but still, he's giving up on Eno. I'm sad. I'm sad, Luca san. You gave up on Eno. But that being said, it's okay. It's understandable. I know that the, the Kai matchup is not necessarily in favor of Eno. It's actually pretty hard for Eno players to deal with it. Oh, again, here we go. Oh, very nice. Uh, stuff from Kale to uh, delay his attempt to burst. He would have been burst baited right there if he did press a button. Okay, good stuff. Good jump in by Roka. He's gonna get the wall break into the positive bonus. Oh, very nice use of 6P to go under the fireball. I sense a. S oh, okay. I was gonna say I sense a stun dipper, but not true. Here we go with Roka going low. Uses the RC to extend the combo. He gets the oh lord and goes for the quick dust for the kill. Good stuff by Luka. Gets the first round of this third, uh, this fourth match actually. Look how this spins out. Wow, oh, nice jump in by Luka. He's gonna get a lot of mileage off of this again with the save jump. You can see Kale pressing buttons right there. He's really, really mm, maybe un unfamiliar with the matchup. I'm not quite sure. Oh, very nice check right there from Kale not to get uh, had by the uh, teleport. Unfortunate trade right there for Luca still in the corner. He had the right idea, but the bad timing, I suppose. Here we go with Kale gets the uh, the wall break for the positive bonus. So, and again, very, my lord, the cojones on Kale just running forward to go underneath the fireball and uh, use the 6P2. Oh, get the kill and kill. Okay, finally kill uses the. Oh no, and gets hit. The stun dipper gets adequately punished by there, right there by Luca. What is Kale going to do? Maybe he has a pocket character as well. No, he doesn't. Still sticking with Kai. Let's see if this pans out correctly for him or not. And just run up straight, man. Just six B, man. Not afraid. I'm not afraid. And here we go with the tick pressure. And Kale gets out of the corner using the stun dipper. No, he just walks under. He runs under after, actually. Very nice stun dipper right there. Gets the opening. He gets the very optimized combo station. Look at this damage. Good lord. <laughs> that was a lot of damage, man. That is crazy. Okay, and here we go with uh, again. Luka getting the very fortunate jump ins right there. Oh, my lord. Just let it rip. And Luka not afraid using the Arbiter to try to close things off. And again with the Arbiter hits the mark. And just like this, we are on set point. Kale was in the lead up until now, but not so much anymore. Let's see if he can make a comeback. We shall see sooner rather than later. Nobody calling me? Perfect. No call, good call. Here we go with the... Oh, the empty load this time around by Kale. He's going to get the wall break. Here we go, Dino's drove ya. <laughs> He's going to get the stain state on Kale. Add it to uh, the hard knockdown and... Uh, ooh! And the big damages. 
Okay, here we go. Kill is still. Oh no, stained. Oh, that very big meaty right there. That frame trap actually from a kill. Unfortunately, he failed his meaty right there. Oh, we got the first main, and just like that, Rock Cup brings it back, man. What seemed like a desperate situation just got ready to go. We are ready to go indeed. Kohide versus Gilgabear. Let's see. So, Kohide, probably one of the best uh, Giovanna player right up there together with uh, TY. Whereas, uh, Gilgamesh is actually the highest ranked uh, Anji player in arcades currently. He is the highest, uh, the number one right now. Or maybe the highest uh, player overall. That uh, might actually be the case. That being said, unfortunately, he got open right there by Kohide. Immediately cancels into the... Uh, the the uh the tension no the the super that being said here we go couldn't quite get the uh the final hit but it's still okay a dash into the nasante for the kill was enough okay here we go with the shitsu and oh the fuji unfortunately he was a little bit too close to his opponent to have spacing enough to get out of danger and that being said here we go with the wall break by cool is gonna get the positive bonus oh my lord what is going on for Gilga Bear. Oh no, he gets open by D4H. This is gonna be big. It's not gonna kill because Andy does have a low, my lord, and the reset into the Quake does. That was a pretty, pretty violent, not gonna lie. First match goes to Kohide, takes it 1 to 0. We shall see. It's not over till it's over. Gilga Mesh is a person, is a uh, player who adapts. He adapts. He adapts. He, he rarely wins the first match, but he does adapt. So let's see how this pans out. Okay, we're good. The Nagiha. Oh my lord, and the dashes are real with Kohide, man. Oh no, this is an unfortunate. Oh, and that freaking 2D. This is so freaking far. Uh, here we go with the trade. Couldn't quite get the rest. And finally, Gilgamesh gets something going. Oh lord. Uh, uh, here we go with the side switch, side switch. And the wall break once again for Kohide. Gonna get the uh, positive bonus. Oh, oh no, he's gonna get Nasante. No, very nice. Well, go by Gilgamesh, but. Press his button on his way down and gets open immediately by Kohide. That was pretty decisive right there, not gonna lie. That cross-up was nasty, man. What do you want to do? Oh, good lord. And here we go again with the posit with the uh, the optimal combos. Kohide decides to hold onto his tension bar, possibly for either an RC or a killing combo just like this one. Oh, okay, here we go with Gilgamesh. Still had the... Oh, no. Committed to the Nagiha after the Fujin. And Koide, oh no, it's still okay, finally, 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 no, Gilgamesh, oh no, unfortunately, finally, Gilgamesh had something going for him, but no, Koide said, no, I deny you, I do not want you to play against me, I do not want you to give you any, any type of momentum, you are staying here, right here where I can see you, that being said, here we go with the Potential third match, we shall see. Very nice with punishes though from Kohide, not gonna lie, man. You can see that uh, Kohide only commits to dashing forward once he sees the Fujin. This is the only time he commits to it. Okay, here we go with the punishes right there from Gilgamesh. Kohide completely committing to uh, not RC actually. Okay, here we go with the close S. Your time to shine, Gilgabear. Here we go, almost there. Oh, Lord! And that aerial super from Kohide catches Gilgamesh on his way and attempt to try to air to air Kohide. That being said, here we go. No, that was the optimal time to do the... Ah! Uh. Oh, here we go. No! How? Oh, Lord, I thought he was not going to be able to seal the deal right there. Good stuff from Gilgamesh. Finally takes one round. Remaining alive in the Gisha again. Nope, nobody home. The kickflip has really been... Freaking up with uh, Gilgamesh's mine right there. Ah, here we go, the close S counter hit. This did a lot of damage. Kohide immediately canceling into the super to get maximum damage off of it. He's gonna get the hard knockdown and the wall break. And positive bonus. Oh no, a little bit too. Mistimed his uh, two key right there to punish the, um, the cannon drill. Unfortunate for him. We are on set point. Let's see how this pans out. Hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully Gilgamesh can bring it back. Immediate burst though from Gilgabear. I guess it by Dosante. And the 2 has... <laughs> this is real unfortunate for him. Here we go with the corner pressure, man. Okay, finally got out of the corner. Can breathe a little bit more. No! Oh no! You hate to see it. Unfortunately, jumps 
it's just right over Koiden. This should do. No. Ah, oh, yeah. This, this did indeed with a perfect. Good stuff. Now possible to uh, deal damage uh, against Nagoriyuki if he has a certain amount of blood um, accumulated. So let's see how this pans out. We'll see how this uh, goes. And here we go with the 6p start of the round by Atimu and Blue Swing. Ikidona almost got the jump in. This is unfortunate for him. Atimu committing to the Beyblade right there, but he, well, not committing since he used the Fukio to get out of harm's way right after it. Okay, here we go. Both opponents probably testing the waters, and finally, Ikidona finding the opening forces the opponent to pop the burst. And here we go again with the oh, the bad moon. The bad moon, man. Bad moon. Oh no, a little bit. Uh, this was unfortunate by Blue Swing. AKA Ikidona almost got the kill right there. He didn't quite get the confirmed, unfortunately. Ah, and gets hit by the plus S right there. This is unfortunate for him. Okay, here we go with the uh, command grab right here from Atemu. Atemu definitely oh, having his set on trying to seal the deal as quickly as possible. And here we go with the clone for the kill. Good stuff. Well, I'm out. What's fun? That's good. That's good. Uh, no, that's not good, Sora. <laughs> but thanks for participating, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> no problem, Sora. See you later. Here we go with the empty low by Ikidona. Gets the opening. Gonna get the wall, uh, the corner carry. Here we go with the wall pressure. The corner pressure, I'm sorry, the wall pressure. What the hell is a wall pressure? That being said, here we go with the clone. A very nice entire on using upon using the standing team of Nagoriyuki. And here we go, the double. Uh, I do believe it's uh, 3k from uh, Nagoriyuki. And he's gonna get the wall break. Good stuff from, um, from Atemu. Oh, and that air to air though from Atemu. He was definitely looking for that aerial. For that aerial uh, approach from Ikidona Ikidona, deciding to go for an empty low yet again. Well, why stop something that works? I mean, that's perfectly okay. And here we go again with the corner pressure, and that go, oh my lord! That was so cheeky. No, I know, I know, I know your setup, Ikidona. I know the setup, Samir. That is a clear shout out from Atemu right there, saying, "No, you cannot, you cannot mix me that way. I'm gonna air grab you." That was extremely. That was some nice character knowledge from Atemu. Manages to seal the deal uh, regarding the first uh, match, that is. Definitely not over until it's over. Here we go. Very uh, nice uh, just blocks uh, from Ikidona. Oh, 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 Lord. Oh, you exploded, didn't you? And just like this. No, Ikidona didn't have any. No, no. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. You hate to look at this. You deal damage. You deal damage. You deal damage, I deal the same thing. Oh, good lord, this is so unfortunate for Oikidona. He just had a little bit more to have the tension bar in order to get the RC and extend the combo and get the kill combo, but he didn't get it in time, and unfortunately, he gets grabbed right then. This should do. No! That must be. Ikidona must be heartbroken right there. This is so unfortunate. This is so unfortunate. That being said, here we go on to the second battle. Hopefully, Ikidona will be able to wash away that very unfortunate sequence that happened in the previous match. That being said, here we go with the uh, empty lows by Blue Swing. AKA Ikidona is gonna get the wall pressure. Goes for the. Oh, Lord. Very nice uh, mash from Atemu. Let's try to. Uh, to. Uh, well, to, to force statement of saying, no, stop, stop. You're. Uh, you're. Oh, uh, your ongoing offense. Here we go again. Oh, this time around, no air grabs from Atemu. Okay, Atemu going really, really slow. The reason being that he has two bars of blood. Right now, he couldn't really commit to any uh, special moves because that would mean that his blood gauge would have been more, uh, would have um, become fuller and fuller and eventually, maybe potentially, driving him into the blood explosion, the blood uh, rage, I guess. Again, here we go with the tick pressure from Atemu. Finds the opening with the Beyblade. Here we go, the Rekas. Okay, and Ikidona. Uh, misjudged the, uh, misjudged the uh, Blood Rage right there. He probably thought that uh, Atemu was going to explode right there, but that wasn't the case. That being said, Ikidona does have the life lead. A very short one, that being said, it can change just like this. <laughs> Literally just like this. <laughs> here we go, the wall break. Kaboom, get out of here. Still not over till it's over. Ikidona does have two bars of tension. Oh, very nice confirm right there from Ikidona. Is he gonna get... No, don't... No, God. No! And the closest for the freaking entire... This is so unfortunate. Ikidona, man. Like, the... He hasn't been very lucky during this. I have to admit, like... 
seriously. But that being said, I mean, he probably he misjudged a couple of times, so it's it's not it's not totally out it's not totally out of his control either. That being said, here we go with Yikidona, forced to pop the burst. We are back in neutral. Uh, let me check the brackets real quick. If nobody called me and nobody did, that perfect. I love it when nobody calls me. Uh, nobody did, right? Yeah, nobody did. Perfect. Don't call me. <laughs> Okay, here we go with the aerial perk from Ikidona, finds the opening, and Atemu pressing buttons, knowing that uh, Ikidona wasn't going to commit to... Uh, oh, Lord, and the double! Come on, grab the cheekiness of Atemu, man. Okay, is, he's currently on set point, let's see if Ikidona can manage to bring it back. Okay, just jump jump from Atemu. Probably wants to keep... Oh, okay, finally uses the Fukio to close the gap between him and Ekidona. Ekidona recognizing that Atim wasn't going to commit to a special right after his Fukio. And here we go. Oh, my lord. And the newly discovered buff. Well, given buff of Ekidona using the... Uh, how do you call this uh, move? I'll say the quick drop. <laughs> Probably I'll call it the quick drop. Uh, in order to uh, chain, to switch places with his opponent and using the... Uh, the, the top, I guess you call it the top of, um, the top of Melia, it sounds a little bit, a little bit not what it's supposed to sound, <laughs> not gonna lie. I need to, uh, I need to view the, uh, the names of the, the specials of Melia. But yeah, using the quick drop in combination with, uh, the, uh, her spinning top, I guess you call it, uh, makes it so that it is a very, very efficient, um, what's called mix in the corner, but that being said, unfortunately for Ekidona, Yep, Atemu managed to take it with a perfect nonetheless. So, a new uh, participant, actually, I do believe it's his first participation to the Brojo Cup. He is a Faust player, as you can see currently on screen. Let's see how he fares against the Devil. That very, very, very intelligent and strong player that is Takarin. We shall see in a couple of minutes. Heaven or Hell, indeed. And here we go, both players are letting the intros rock as it should be. And yes, it was, uh, so, uh, regarding Milia's super, not special attacks, well, specials, basically, was, yeah, the tendon top, okay, the age version, and her quick, her turbo fall, there you go, there you go, turbo fall, so her fall, I'm gonna call it. Okay, that being said, here we go. Uh, first match already going on, and uh, Amato was doing a good job of actually preventing Takarin from from spacing him too much. That being said, Takarin did uh, did uh, benefit from the uh, trumpet right there, and Amato, man, the cheekiness of Amato, just going straight, uh, thinking that uh, Takarin would be intimidated by the fact that Amato got the trumpet right there. Amato just straight up ran towards Takarin and tried to. Uh, oh my lord, and here we go with Amato taking the first round, extremely convincingly that is. Good stuff from Amato. Okay, Faust, character who has been pretty buffed in the recent uh, patch, if you ask me. Most players uh, of the Faust community tend to, uh, well, to, to uh, agree that right now Faust is in a def definitely a very, very nice space. That being said, here we go with Takanin using the command grab in order to switch places with Amato. Uh, tried to be the burst, actually managed to do so, man, and takes it with an Axel Bomber. Good lord, the damage, man, the damage output was actually pretty nice right here from uh, from Axel, I'm really not gonna lie. Okay, that being said, here we go with uh, the Fishing Rod from Amato. Well, let's call it the Spear, I guess, since it's not really a Fishing Rod right there. Only the fifth. Oh, lord, and here we go with the Spear again by Amato this time around, punished by Takarin using the 2HS. Woo, Takarin. <laughs> Running straight into the scarecrow right there. Fortunately for him, he had enough leeway and time in order to uh, to block before getting hit by anything. Uses the RC to switch faces. Try to get an optimal combo using the newly uh, found buffs of the rainwater. Oh, okay, here we go with the spears. A very nice block from Takarin. And here we go with the trumpet. Unfortunately, falls straight up, straight onto Amato and Takarin had. To oh no! And little Faust wants to have a piece of that cake, man. He wants a piece of it. And here we go again with little Faust. Oh my lord, what happened right there with the wait? So too far to get the quick dust. This is unfortunate. Oh lord, and the quick teleportation right there from Amato takes it, man. Good stuff. He, he takes the first round right. Uh, the first match I'm going right here. Takarin in the higher streets. That's the first time I actually see Takarin struggling against somebody that is not Mugi, not Kohide, and not Nikozilu, man. That being said, here we go with uh, the 
Oh lord, the rainwater counter hit finally. Tagan can get some leeway to get out of the corner. And again with the spear, man. Kaboom, get out of here. I'm gonna get the trumpet. Ah, there you go. Yes. Uh, so Faust's 2k is actually a two hitter. So if it trades with uh, any other uh, normal of any other character, it will the follow up will come out uh, quicker than any other uh, normal that that he uh, the, the well his opponent might might uh, throw in. So yeah, here we go with Amato actually taking the lead, man. Taking one match and one round right there. Takani definitely needs to make something happen. Very nice, extremely nice six right there from Amato. Oh, it gets jumped on by Takarin and Amato using the dive combined with the mix 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 to extend his corner uh, his combo very nice 6p man the 6p reaches so freaking far but you can see man Takarin not afraid to press buttons man I don't care I don't care this is the statement that uh, that, um, that Takarin said right there and he takes it with the actual bomber Okay, one round apiece. Takani definitely needs this one if he wants to put one on the board and shorten the uh, the uh, well the difference in score between him and his opponent. Okay, here we go with the Nani ga deru kana. Okay, Lensengeki. Takari finding the opening with the jumping H. Oh, okay, this time around. Oh, base the bears. Nice bears. Uh, Takarin looking very good in this round though, but it is not over till it's over. Amato trying to extend the... Oh, almost with the kill, but finds the kill with the two. This is the 2P, I suppose? <laughs> Still gets hit by the bomb. That being said, this was pretty fun. Yeah, Takarin puts one on the corner. This is the uh, closest match we have had all night. <laughs> so definitely looking forward. Uh, de definitely, uh, definitely enjoying myself commenting on this match right there. Go with Takarin. Finding an opening with the empty jump, couldn't quite get any follow-up. Was probably looking for the burst after uh, opening his opponent with the 2k. And using your rainwater to uh, put some distance between him and uh, his opponent right after. That being said, here we go with Takarin. Finds the opening with uh, the the world. And here we go again with the killing combo. And well break. Actual bomber again. Good stuff from... Takarin takes the lead, man. He was down one to uh, one, one match to one round, and now he is in the lead. One match, uh, in one round, that is. Yeah. Here we go with the snail. Okay, no punishes. Well, hard to punish this one, I guess. Okay, here we go. The close S almost got the conversion station. Tries to bait the burst, but Amato, no stranger to these types of setups, has a little Faust to help him. Oh, here we go. The close, <laughs> the, the quick dust. Cancel into the Roman cancel to uh cancel to the Roman. Yes, Roman cancel <laughs> to get the wall break. And here we go with Amato using oh my lord the cheekiness of this man using the quick overhead the, the overhead of Faust to find the opening. It goes for the command grab for the kill. What a nice hair you have, Axel. Okay, here we go with the absolute final round. The one who takes this round will definitely feel very good. Uh tries to go for a mix-up and even freaking with the air to air by using the dive, man. Good stuff from Amato. Unfortunately, Takarin finds a way to get out of uh, harm's way. Amato committing to the spear, but no one's home. Takarin had already committed to jumping out of the corner, uh, to jumping over it. And the quick, the quick TP right there again from Amato. It's been doing, uh, it's really been doing its its work, man. Here we go with the, uh, oh, with the command grab and. Oh no! Oh no! Nice burst, but Amato fails to convert off of it, and this might actually come back to bite him in the butt. But no, Amato wakes up with a uh, overdrive, cancels it right off the bat with the Roman cancel, and goes for a close S into the quick dust for the kill. Good stuff from Amato. He is up two to one. Takarin must feel devastated from this very unfortunate turn of, uh, turn, turn of events right here. Here we go with the close S. Oh, Takani wins the air-to-air -air battle, wins the counter-hit battle as well right there using the rainwater and extending the combo. That being said, we go with Amato using the 6P, gets the counter-hit off of it, gets finally gets out of the corner. And you can see the use, man. The use of the quick TP of Amato has been pristine, man. It's, it's been catching Takani off guard so many times. But that being said, Takani is on point when it really needs to be. Oh, but here we go. Amato, oh, gets hit by the standing feed this time around by Takarin. This has been going back and forth all this freaking time. Very nice. This is such a entertaining match right there. I never knew that Axel versus Faust could be that entertaining. That being said, here we go. The bomb has been set. 
Okay, it's not getting made a good uh, call by jumping over it. <gasps> oh, and again, Amato getting caught by these uh, unfortunate uh, command grabs from Takarin. Very nice use of the 6 right there to get rid of the uh, standing P of Takarin. Okay, here we go with... Oh! Okay, here's the corner pressure with Amato. Trying to get close to Takarin. Takarin, man, really choosing his moments to just press button to keep Amato off of him. Here we go, the 6P man, it's been doing its work, not gonna lie. Very cheeky decision right there of Sakarin to just commit to the grab uh, while Little Faust was right upon him. And that being said, we are going down to the absolute last match of this set. This has been really, really crazy so far. Okay, here we go, the last match. Oh, and the, the trade right there in favor of Amato. Uh, it wasn't a trade, actually. It was entirely in favor of Amato. But that being said, Takarin did find a... Oh, no! And that 4 HS, that must have hurt so much. But upon doing so, he did trigger a little Faust, but did manage to just jump out, uh, jump over him. And to continue his pressure uh, upon Amato. Here we go, the quick cancel of the TP. And yeah, Takarin still finding the way, man. Takarin taking the lead, and we are on set point. Takarin... Let's see how this pans out. Okay, just run up straight and press 6P. No one home. Oh, almost got the conversion station and again gets hit by the command grab. This is so unfortunate, man. Okay, here we go. The close S from Hamato finds the opening. Oh, no. Nice burst. Nice burst, my brother. Oh, wait. He gets the extension station. Oh, that would have been crazy sick. Okay, he's got the hammer, but yeah, Takarin jumping over the hammer like it doesn't even exist. Oh, I thought he was gonna throw him in the bomb, but it's still okay. The combo was enough to get the kill. We are on the last set, the last round of the last match for these two. This has been going so back and forth. Amato definitely looking good. That being said, here we go with Takarin drawing first blood and pun and punishing this mix, mix, mix attempt right here from Amato. Amato needs to find a way to get in. He cannot... Yeah, he cannot spend all of his time dread. Oh, he finds the opening. No, he tried to go for the command grab, but nobody was home. Very nice back dash right there from Amato. He's going to get the bomb. Ooh. Oh, and that big 2S counter. It's going to enable Takarin to get the, the world. Amato looking a little bit dire right there, man. It's not going to kill. I'd say hold on to your burst. And yeah, but if you get hit just once, it's probably over. Oh, Lord, Lord! Here we go. Oh, look! What happened? That was so sick! That was so sick! No! No, little Faust, no! Oh, that was so sick! That ending was crazy good and Takari. The next match, as I have said, is gonna be Tsuboy, also known as Rue, a 18-year-old uh, chip player, extremely strong at that, Japanese individual, and uh, versus Fluttershy. A newcomer in the Brojo Cup, I have not have, I have, I didn't have the pleasure of fighting him uh, up until now. I don't recall having the pleasure of fighting him even on the Celestial, but that being said, he is a blue aura player, so definitely no slouch, if I might say. Definitely has been grinding uh, Kai in order to attain such a uh, level. That being said, here we go with Tsuboy finding the opening. Oh, gets the burn, no, it gets the DP bait. He's going to get a very nice corner combo ending with the overdrive, which will result into. Wow, Tiger Pop, thank you very much for the follow and welcome to the Brojos, man. Sick, happy cows, by the way. Uh, that being said, here we go with Fluttershy trying to get out of the corner and that big DP, wake up DP from Fluttershy, not afraid of applying pressure and Tsuboy respawning in due form and ending with the overdrive, that was crazy. And the attorney is going pretty well, man, pretty well. Let me give you a follow, by the way. I can't believe I don't follow you already. Here we go. A big follow to Tiger Pop. You guys better follow Tiger Pop. He is the best Happy Chaos player in Europe currently. I do believe he comes from Britain, if I'm correct. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I do believe he's a British uh, player, if I'm correct. Yes, exactly, yeah. From Britain, extremely strong uh, Happy Chaos player. Very, very famous in uh, Europe, and not only also in America, that is. And also in Japan, since I know him. <laughs> that being said, here we go with uh, the uh, jumping attempt right there from uh, Fluttershy. Fortunately for him, he gets the corner, uh, he gets the side switch, but Tsuboy not out of it yet. Tried to bait the burst, but Fluttershy definitely holding on to it. He gets the DP, uh, the safe jump, and the DP block. But that being said, Fluttershy did have a. Um, 
of a burst in order to get out of harm's way and Tsuboy just just arcing right there and getting the extension station in order to seal the kill very nicely done okay here we go on to the second match fluttershy definitely no slouch he definitely uh showed that there's potential for him to uh well to basically take this set but right now he has some trouble fighting his footing if i might say Say here he goes. Oh, he gets the six HS counter hit. Immediately forces Tsuboy to commit to uh, popping the burst. He gets the wall, uh, not the wall, the grab again with the grab. Tsuboy, oh, and finally gets the opening with the quick dust. Oh, a little bit shy to get the kill right there. Uh, still, oh, just he's one hit from getting it, and he finally gets it with the stun dipper. Very nicely done by uh, Tsuboy, also known as Rue. Oh, Lord and the big direct like counter hit. And Fluttershy actually he gets the conversion and the double direct like right there for enormous amounts of damage, man. Fluttershy again with the stun dipper, man. Suboy not watching his feet, and this is probably going to cost him the round. And just like this man, Suboy saved by the burst, man. Oh, he tried to go for an instant overhead, but Suboy was really, really on point right there on his block. Still forced to block. Okay, Tsuboy not out of it. He wants it, he wants it. He doesn't want to lose this one at all. Oh, and the DP match. The mash of the DP for the kill by Fluttershy puts one on the board as well. Good lord. Oh, that was crazy. Okay, and on to the third match. Who's going to take it? We shall see. <laughs> Start of round two, the counter hit from Tsuboy. Forces Fluttershy to pop the burst. Very nice to the of himself from Fluttershy. Okay, he did push the boy in the corner, also forcing him to pop the burst. The Quadra de Lark right there. There you go, he got the knockdown. He's gonna get the. Oh, Lord! And look at that, man. Fluttershy gonna get the wall break into with the positive bonus. That being said, it's not a hard knockdown. And again with the mash DP in the block string from Fluttershy. Fluttershy not afraid, man. Not afraid. Here we go, the jump back from Fluttershy manages to. Oh, get the hit in. Ah, uh, Tsuboy still not waking up DP, man. Oh, Lord, what is going on? Look at all these resets. Finally, the DP from Tsuboy said, get off of me right there. Oh, he gets some DP bait himself, man. You've been popping the DP a little bit too often. He tries to go for a reset. And again with the DP, man. Fluttershy, man. Not afraid. Yeah, you can, you can smell the, um... You can smell the game. <laughs> no, you can smell the, uh... What's it called? You can smell the, uh, the frustration in Tsuboy right there. Okay, I'll again try to, to uh to bait the DP, but goes for an overhead for the kill. Good stuff from Suboy, finally waking up. Okay, and here we go. Very nice jump in from Suboy. He's gonna get, oh, uh, the side switch with the Alpha Blade. Okay, very nice. Oh, that was a sick whiff punish, I'm not gonna lie. We got the jumping 2D from Suboy. He goes for a safe jump. Still looking for the DP, but yeah, you can see that Fluttershy is going a little bit more discreetly when it comes to using the DP because he sees that Tsuboy is looking for it. That being said, we go with Fluttershy catching the DP. This time around, uh, Tsuboy, oh no, but it's still okay. He had the RC2, make it safe. The big command grab, and Tsuboy is on the verge of taking it. And he goes with the Alpha Blade and punishes, man. Good stuff from Tsuboy. Goes up two to one. We still have a couple more set. Well, Fluttershy has like uh, one more chance, well, two more chances in order to. Uh, ah, 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 we might see a character change. Let's see, let's see. Thank you very much for the follow, Zaley, the FGC, and welcome to the Bro Judge. Okay, and on to the next match. Immediate burst from the boy, man. No, no, you touched me. No, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna burst right away. I don't care. There we go with the jump in by Fluttershy. Gets the grab. He's gonna get the, the corner. Oh, the corner pressure. Oh, very nice recognition from Tsuboy. He was looking for the burst. Oh, goes for the cross-up. This is so hard to see, man. Here we go, the stun dipper. No more RC to make it safe. And Tsuboy pressing some buttons, but it wasn't your turn. This time around, Tsuboy waking up with the DP. Saying, what you can do, I can do better. Oh, no 6 p right there from Tsuboy. Oh, and here we go, the 4S. He's gonna get the wall break, maybe. Boom. He goes with the reset. Oh, no blocks, man. Where's your block? Why can't you block? Is Tsuboy gonna be able to seal the deal? He will! Good stuff from Tsuboy. That was a sick combo, by the way. Nice extension using the RC uh, momentum right there. 
Oh, very nice, uh, very nice exchange from these two, and here we go with the Fudra Dark. Uh, you can see that. Uh, I thought I saw Fluttershy like inputting the DP right there. <laughs> that being said, here we go. Oh, very nice grab right there from Suboy. Oh, he's gonna go f with a sick combo. Good stuff from Suboy, man. And just to uh, remind everybody, Suboy is an 18 year old, very young player, extremely strong. Uh oh, what? Yeah. I don't know if Flutter uh, Shy had a uh, like control. And as I have said, Kohide and Tagarin are both masters of their respective characters. Probably, they are definitely up there when it comes to character mastery. So Kohide is a Giovanna master, whereas Tagarin is a actual ma master. Last time that these two fought, Kohide did take it. Uh, I do believe he did, if I'm not saying anything uh, erroneous, which might be the case. That being said, here we go with Takarin fighting his, for his life in the corner, man. Not giving anything away by Kohide. And just as I say this, commentary curse. Kohide finds the opening. And gets the wall break. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, the rainwater start of the round by Takarin. No one was home, though. And here we go with the tick pressure from Kohide, man. Oh, very nice blocks. Uh, the air to air, unfortunately. Kohide a little bit too late on it. And Takarin using the side switch right there and the momentum of the, the world to get a wall break of his own. That being said, Kohide has two tension bars right there. He has a lot of leeway to play and just like this gets the kill. Two very quick Roman cancels right there to catch his opponent off guard. Was enough to take it. Good stuff. And here we go with the tick pressure. Very nice stuff from Kohide. Oh, that air. To air from Kohide gets the uh, the the what's it called the the, um, the damn it how do you call it <laughs> it's the counter hit I'm sorry couldn't quite get the final side switch to uh, secure a wall break but that being said this is gonna be enough for Kohide to take it with a wall break takes the first match let's see how this pans out Kohide a monster a Giovanna monster man swear to God. Here we go with the start of the round with a dash into the 2k. Finds the opening, forces Takarin to endure pressure. Very nice with punish right there on the 6 speed of uh, Takarin. Kohide gets the wall break. Okay, Kohide definitely taking as much time as necessary. Probably wanting to bait the burst, but I guess that, yeah, Takarin is probably going to keep it for the second round. And here we go with the kill using the Ventania right. Good stuff from Kohide gets the first round of the second match, man. Knowing that he has a pretty hefty lead right now. Salut Zimtori, how are you doing Zimtori? Welcome to the Brojo, how are you doing, man? Welcome back. Oh lord, and that 2k 2d from Takarino and Kohide loves them golden burst, man. All the time, whenever he can, he will wake up with a golden burst. That being said, here we go, the kick flip and the tension. The, yeah, uh, the pressure is real. And the big Nasante for the kill, man. Kohide not giving anything to, to Takarin, man. Just taking from him. That's it. I'm taking, taking. I'm not giving back. Okay, let's see how this pans out. It's trying to get a little bit cold in here. Let me put the heater on. Okay, here we go. The tick pressure from Kohide in the corner. And the resets using the cannon drill. Takarin did find the opening, though. Oh, oh lord, no punishes on that snail, but that being said, Kohide gets a huge Nasante right there. Oh, okay, just run straight into a Lensengeki. That being said, Takarin doesn't have any sort of resource anymore and gets hit by the Ventania. We are on match point from Kohide. This has been extremely freaking one-sided, not gonna lie. Kohide definitely working on that actual matchup, it seems. Oh, okay, here we go with uh, the first cannon drill. No Ventania. Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Very nice grab right there from Kohide. Goes with the tick pressure. Gets the opening with the Sepultura. I do believe it's called the Sepultura. Oh, was it the Troval? I keep mixing them up. Okay, here we go with the kick flip. I'm pretty sure it's the Sepultura. Yeah. Or Troval? Damn, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure anymore. But that being said, here we go. Ta Takarin goes with the quick dust into the uh, Roman castle to find the opening, forces the burst of Kohide. That being said, Kohide definitely looking good right now. He has the life lead. Anything would do. Oh, he got the burst as well. No gold burst for you, uh, Takarin. 
Oh, and just like this, Kohide finds the opening with the tick pressure. Good stuff from Tok Kohide. Extremely strong. I uh, uh, okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah, so Tsuboi-san, this time around, gonna pop the Happy Chaos. Okay, careful, Tsuboi-san. There's Tiger Pop Senpai in the, in the in the chat, man. He's going to judge you, careful. <laughs> but where, yeah, uh, obviously, I think that possibly if Tsuboi ends up... Yeah, he plays uh, Happy Chaos as well. But his uh, main is uh, is still uh, is still chip, though. That being said, here we go with the start of the round. Arania already finding the opening. Drops the combo though, but it's still okay, still has got the pressure. He's gonna be judged on his gun control, exactly. You go with the jump in, unfortunately, for Tsuboi. Oh lord, look at this OTG, god, the OTG damage, man. Here we go with Arania, goes for the grab for the kill. Good stuff from Arania, takes the first round extremely convincingly. Yo, Flower for Sil, how are you doing? Welcome back. I'm glad to see you again. Okay, here we go with the very nice, uh, very nice tech from both players right there. And the minions, man, look at the minions pressure. You are not pressing a button, I refuse. Oh lord, and the shoot right there from Tsuboi. Okay, try to keep the pressure right there. Oh good lord, oh finally Arania pops the burst. Oh, oh lord, that was an unfortunate Roman cancel. Uh, from the part of uh, Tsuboi unfortunately got opened by it. Oh, Lord, trying to get the kill with the OTG. Oh, finally, Tsuboi finds the opening, gets the side switch. He's gonna get the uh, air six. <laughs> gonna get the air six for some more uh, pressure because he's gonna get the positive uh, bonus and yard knocked down in my Lord Arnia, man. Just jump. That guy, man, that guy Arnia just freaking. She just ran from one corner of the, the screen to the other and just jumped. Just jumped on a just jumped on uh on Tsuboi who literally had the hard knockdown he had like the positioning but it was a little bit probably I guess I I do not have any extend extended um how do you say extensive like happy chaos knowledge but I do know that he had a little bit of time to like shoot him uh, because he had cursed him already so yeah Tsuboi san taking a little bit too much of a uh, time I guess to uh to to start his uh, zoning game that being said here we go with Tsuboi this time around uh, resorting to using chip against Arania. We will see how this goes. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord. But yeah, Arania looking pretty strong for now, man. This is pretty crazy, not gonna lie. Okie dokie, second match going right now. Arania in the lead. Let's see how Tsuboi is going to bring some modifications to his screen gameplay. Oh, okay, so we couldn't quite get the jump in right there and gets scooped by the 2D. Counter it from Arania. Arania puts one minion on the floor. And oh my lord, it's boy waking up with the DP right there. Yo, yeah, can't see bien, comment tu vas? And here we go with. Oh lord! Oh, and the Alpha Blade. Very nice blocks right there from Arania. He's gonna get the Roman cancel extension station. Gonna put. Oh lord, and this boy not afraid of just freaking running straight. Towards Arania, Arania, nice block on the Alpha Blade right there. He's gonna get opened by the overhead though. Go with the optimal corner combo into the wall break. And Arania just going straight with a Roman, blue Roman cast right there to, uh, to make his approach as safe as possible and gets the kill with the minion. Good stuff from Arania. And lead with a one match and one round as well. No anti-air right there from Tsubo, unfortunately for him. He came from such a long way. Such a long way, but no anti-air. <laughs> Get here. Oh, Lord. And Arania just getting out of the corner, just running straight out of it. Very nice 6 ages right there from Arania matches. Uh, manages to hit Tsubo, even though he was so far. Oh, Lord. Again, Tsubo, man, not afraid to just run up straight to his, uh, his opponent. Bonne année, mec. Bonne année, ça fait très plaisir. J'espère que la famille ça va bien gros. Ok, and here we go with the corner pressure. He's gonna get the wall break. Ah, he might go for a reset. He did. He's gonna go with the wall splat. The Samurai goes in front, in the back actually. Is he gonna get the kill? Yes, he will. Good stuff from Tsuboi. Manages to take. Finally around. Good stuff. He shows the power of Chip. Very nice jump in from Tsuboi. Ah, gonna get... Oh no, drops it, but it's still... Okay, he's gonna get the wall break. Okay, let's see how Ernia oh, gets hit by the forest, man. And immediate conversion station by Tsuboi. Gonna get the hard knockdown, man. 
Oh, Choi Choi, come on! <laughs> Here we go with the safe jump. Okay, Arania, man, and again with the confirms! The young man reactions right there, man. This is exactly it. Young 18 years old man reaction right there from Tsuboy manages to put one on the board as well. Okay, this is actually the first time I see Arania losing something, man. This is crazy. This is cray cray. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go. Okay, the jumping 2D and Tsuboy not afraid to pop the DP, man. He got peace from some more. Ah, calm, calm. He is très très bien. Hein? Je m'aime. Je m'aime. Je m'aime. Je me demande si c'est. Vas-y, vas-y, raconte-moi, y'a cassé. <laughs> okay, and here we go with the uh, attempted pressure from Arania. Pops the burst, and Tsuboy wasn't able to bait it though. Ah, je me demande si c'est. Ah ouais, il est, il est très très bien ce jeu. Mais après, faut aimer les jeux de combat, quoi. Ça, peut... c est, c est... Ça a l'air très très bien, les jeux de combat, généralement, mais quand tu le veux prendre en main et tu commences à jouer, et que tu joues contre d'autres personnes et que tu perds beaucoup, c'est à ce moment-là que tu as tendance à te dire que. Ah ouais, c'est peut-être pas pour moi, tu vois. Mais ouais, non, ce jeu il est très marrant. Tant que jeu de combat, il est très 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 drôle. Il a pas de souci, y'a Cassie, je comprends très bien. Ah ben, gros gros doigt. Euh... Gros, tu sais, tu sais quoi hein <rire> C'est une bonne chose, gros. Well, that being said, here we go with the. Ah, uh, Elysian Driver, is this gonna kill? No, it's not, it's not, it's not. Not even gonna get the wall break, this is unfortunate. Oh, he tried to make the DP, but even got something better. He did the tech attempt and gets the. Uh, Walbrick with the perfect, that being said, Arania, man, both players on final round for this uh, current match. Let's see who takes it. The one who takes it is definitely going to feel a lot better than... Oh, it's going to be in a very good place. Oh, okay, no entire is right there from Arania. This is really unfortunate. That being said, here we go. Arania really trying to put as much distance as possible as you can between him and his opponent. And he gets scooped by the Alpha Blade. This is so unfortunate. Oh, this is gonna do a lot of damage. He goes for the command grab. No one's home, but that being said, yep. Uh, it's Boy San with the optimal. Oh, he goes. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? It's Boy San going completely ham, but he was a little bit too. He was too hungry. Oh no, and that was an unfortunate DP, man. It was an unfortunate DP. Erinia takes the lead 2 to 1, man. What is Two Boy gonna do? He had such a good... The only thing that was really, really unfortunate is that he dropped whatever combo he was trying to do when he did the, uh, the you know, the uh, the, the escalating, uh, the, 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 the chip thing that he does on the wall. He tried to go for either a reset or a... I don't know. Yeah, he definitely panicked. He dropped it and he was like, oh shit, oh shit, what am I supposed to do? And that kind of, like, sealed his fate, I, I suppose. Ouais, il a l'air bien, mais je pense que si tu gères pas les jeux de combat comme moi, je vais me faire maltraiter, ça me Bah, c'est, ouais, c'est que tu vas prendre un... T'auras une certaine période d'apprentissage. Il va falloir que tu comprennes bien les mécaniques du jeu, tu comprennes bien ton personnage et tout. Et pendant ce temps-là, oui, oui, tu vas... C'est sûr, tu vas perdre, ça, c'est... C'est impossible de ne pas perdre <rire> quand tu commences un jeu de combat, c'est juste impossible. Mais une fois que tu commences à comprendre et tout, c'est à ce moment-là que tu commences à vraiment apprécier le jeu et... Et à... Et à commencer à gagner aussi, et à commencer à t'améliorer, c'est là que tu le kiffes, en fait. Ouais, c'est... Faut être un peu maso sur les bords pour aimer les autres. That being said, here we go, man, with the OTG and the corner pressure from Arnie. He tries to go for a shimmy, but... Yeah, Tsuboy being extremely reasonable, not biting. Oh, and the DP again! Young man eagerness right there. This, you have the young man reactions, but you also have the young man eagerness. And Tsuboy was a little bit too eager right there to have the correct read and to get his turn back, and that kind of played against him. That being said, here we go, Lord! Not afraid to just freaking dash, man. Tsuboy, not afraid to dash. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure. He gets the 2D counter hit. Here we go with the Alpha Blade. He's gonna get the wall break. Very nicely done by Tsuboy. Oh, very nice for S. And Tyra's as well. He goes for the quick Roman cancel. Oh no, too far. But is it still getting in favor of him? What was that? What was that? That fake shimmy. That thing should be still worked in his favor though. He was so far to try to, the, to try to grab, but what I think is that Arania thought that he, he dashed because the dash of like chip is completely crazy. It's so hard to really recognize that he dashes that uh, Arania like reacted to any single movement from Tsuboy and immediately committed to to taking, even though like uh, Tsuboy did didn't dash. Percent that caused him to like uh, well pre press the the grab button. That being said, here we go with Tsuboy getting an oh to try come on. <laughs> Come yesterday, come yesterday. That's literally what it means. Oh, come on! <laughs> it also means like bring, bring it on, basically. 
that's that's what it means. Ototoi come on, it means bring yesterday. Literally, it means bring yesterday, but in English, it means uh, bring it on, basically. If you like translate the, the expression. So, Ototoi come on! <laughs> Anyways, that being said, we are going on to the last match of the uh, of this set. Let's see who brings it back. Uh, you can see, the, like, Arania definitely having a hard time right there, trying to deal with Suboy, and Suboy with the very nice air to air drops these the two HS. You hate to see it. Oh, and Arania trying to go for a grab. He had the correct read though, but did the grab a little bit too early, and that made it so that uh, Suboy was able to uh, hit him on the recovery frame as of his. Grab attempts, but here we go with the corner pressure. Oh, Lord. It's so getting out of the corner. Gets rid of the minion. Oh, here we go with the IAD HS for the corner pressure, man. And oh, very nice back dash from already. Yeah, that was crazy, man. Oh, he goes for a grab again. And the air to air. And no, he drops it. No, and then he beats. And the grab for the kill. Already yeah, still got his wits on him. We are on set point. Who is going to take it? Who is going to take it? Good lord, thank you very much for the follow, Bidoof, Bidoof is on fire, <laughs> Bidoof is on fire, thank you very much for the follow and welcome to the Brojo. We go immediate burst from Arania, gets opened up though by the Roman Castle and Subo is gonna get the wall break, he's probably gonna go for reset, he drops it I think, oh, he doesn't care, he goes for, he goes for command grab, he doesn't care, we go with the Alpha Blade, double Alpha Blades, gets scooped by the 2k 2d, oh, and Arania tried to go for an empty jump but unfortunately gets scooped by the Overhead, we are going on to the final round of the final match of this set. It is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. This has been going back and forth. Both players not want to give anything to their opponent. Here we go with a very big uh, far chest right there. Counter hit from Arania. And he gets... Oh, no. And the, the grab has been baited from Arania. Look at the huge amount of damage again with the grab from Subway. He's definitely feeling it. He gets the extension station combo. And Arania on his last legs. He does have a burst, though. Where there, uh, yeah, there was I Ikidona this time around. Ikidona, but I think he's in the loser bracket. That being said, here we go to grab. Okay, Arania not out of it. Yeah, and he tries to go for a grab, but unfortunately, it's come by the. I can see it. And Sumoy actually sends. He sends Arania. So, let's see how this pans out. And Amato is still uh, staying with Faust. We shall see how this pans out. Sorry, it's really hard to play Jaco in RB7. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. No worries. Ah, yeah, rollback 7. I, I understand, I understand. Okay, here we go with the take pressure from Nico Jiro. Oh lord. That was a big upset, man. That was a very big upset. It was crazy, man. Okay, here we go with Nico Jiro with the tick pressure, man. Just using Anji as he should be used. And here we go with the uh, fans right there. And he's gonna get the wall break. Is this gonna kill? It's not. Yeah, Nico Jiro the pot. He actually plays Anji as well. He plays Anji, he plays Axel, he plays... Uh, uh, that's about it. It's his subs. And the mash right there from Nico Jiro. Still managing to take the kill. Yeah, he plays a lot of different characters. But yeah, his main is Pod though. Very nice grab right there from Amato. Hits uh, Nico Jiro out of his beautiful dance. Oh, no one home right there from Nico Jiro. He actually managed to uh, backdash and not get hit by the... Um, I'm sorry, by the... Uh, the how do you call it? The uh, command grab. Okay, finally Amato... Finally getting something going on. He's gonna get the meteors. Oh, very nice air to air right there from Amato. And um okay, here we go with the side switch again using the uh scarecrow. <laughs> he goes and tries to fish literally with the spear. <laughs> Twice in a row, but nobody was home. There is the banana. He needs to be careful, but that being said, here we go with Amato. Oh, he goes for the grab, man, and this should not do because oh! Is he gonna get the extension station? He does! Very nice stuff from Amato manages to take the second round. Oh, you get very nice air to air. Counter hit right there from Nikoji. Gets the uh, conversion, by the way. This. Oh no, he drops it though, and but it's still okay. He resets with the grab. Ooh! Uh, Nikoji, a very nice use of the RC right there. Uh, confirms that his opponent was in the air and immediately air grabs him. Very nice conversion from Amato as well, though. A little bit too far to get the six, uh, eight, uh, the six P, but it's still okay. Oh no, anti right there. It's still okay. Forces Amato to pop the burst. Oh, and D for S for the Baghdad catch. That was crazy good from Nikoji. Takes the first round. 
Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, but it's still not over till it's over. Okay, and here we go with the bomb. And Ikuchi just running straight. Man, and he uses the dance, but unfortunately, no one was home. No punish from the gold burst, unfortunately, but it's still okay. Very nice back dash right there from Amato. Unfortunately, wasn't able to punish the uh, overhead follow up of the uh, the, uh, the Fujin. And again, man, Ikuchi just running straight in. Hits right there. Probably like disrespecting a tiny bit, Amato. And here we go with the quick dust for the kill. Yes, we do. Good stuff from Amato puts one on the board. Well, one round that is. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, very nice for us. From Amato gets the meteor. Good stuff. Oh look, that was so tricky. That was so tricky. He goes for the uh, the walk under, the run under, in order to uh, because the meteor kept Andre in the corner, uh, in in the air because he was blocking the meteors in the air. And Amato used this uh, this momentum to just run straight underneath Andre and basically side switch and. Uh, cause him to uh, get open by it. Here goes the mix, mix, mix. No punish on the oh on the way down. Oh, again with the mix, mix, mix. I am Amato being a little bit greedy, but he's gonna get the kill. Yes, he does. And Amato gets the kill. Puts one on the board. One on a one. What is going on? Is Nikos you gonna ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah? Uh, we're gonna see a switch. Is Nikos you going to pop the pot? We shall see. Let's see how this pan. Let's see how this pans out. I think he's gonna. Is he? Is he? Is he? I think he's gonna. He's gonna use Axel. No, 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 pot. Here we go. The real pot. The pot has make has made his way on the ring. So right now, Nikoji said, "Okay, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not laughing anymore. I'm not playing anymore. I am going to kill you right now. Here's my pot. Say hello." <laughs> Here we go. The Garuda impact and the take pressure. Oh no, you don't. And using the slider head in order to. Oh continue to get the hard knockdown unfortunately for him yeah that, but though i i do understand that pot is the uh the main character of of um of uh Nikos Yuru, but i failed to see our oh, lord that first bait was crazy and this is gonna kill by the way okay well just as i was about to say just as i was about to say yeah you know faust is probably a very bad matchup for pot <laughs> Nikos Yuru completely pulverizes amato <laughs> Yeah, man, this is Nikosiru for you, man. This guy is no slouch. This is probably one of the best pot in the world, and I'm, I'm really, I'm waiting my word. So, that being said, here we go with the mix, mix, mix. Get over the uh, slider head. Thanks to it, he even gets the extension combo, man, using the, 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 the small soldiers from the trumpet. That was crazy good. Okay, here we go. The mix, mix, mix. He does have the Roman castle to make it safe. And again with the 2k man has been doing its work. Gets hit by the, by the hammer, unfortunately. You want to see a hammer? I have a hammer and not the hammer follow. Uh, but that being said, careful there, Nichols. It up. If you get wall splat, you're dead. Oh no! Oh no! And the trade in favor of Amato and he manages to take uh, the second round actually of this uh, of this uh, second this third match. This is crazy. Wants to kill him, maybe. Definitely he does. Hey, here we go, just from the slider head. Amato definitely making them uh, changes and improving all of his playstyle. Oh, unfortunately, that was a bad use of the Scarecrow. And he, like, his back dash gets scooped by the 4S. And here we go with the Potemkin Buster, and this should kill. Good stuff, man. Just like this, man. You just need one bad interaction. Just one bad interaction. interaction and, oh, this is so unfortunate. But it's okay. Hopefully, we won't have any, uh, any more... Any more connection error? That being said, here we go with Amato. Oh, because he manages to get the little soldiers. Ah, oh, and here we go with the air to air in favor of Nikosiru. Hopefully, for Amato, he had the uh, little Faust to save the day. Very nice use of the mix right there to get the corner carry. Oh Lord, that was so crazy. Ugh. And both opponents using the invincibility startup frames of their respective supers to to um, to get through the attack of their opponents. Unfortunately for Amato, the attack of Nikojiru was the 4S, and it has a very lingering hurt, uh, hitbox, which made it so that it hit uh, Amato out of his. Um, no, but it's still okay. Here we go with Amato getting. Okay, getting the pressure, and here we go with Little Faust. No, unfortunately, he gets scooped. Very nice wake up right there from Amato. He gets the gold burst and the corner pressure. It looks a lot like, it looks like 100% like the previous, <laughs> the previous set that we had. So, so I'm, not, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm still. It still feels good. 
Okay, let's see how this pans out. Amato gets the wake up. Unfortunately, he gets... Okay, very nice stuff. And he gets cool by the Potemkin Buster. It's not over till it's over, though. Oh, here we go. And the Mega Fist, man. Very nice. Uh, knowledge of the waste. Oh, uh, no. No, you do see it. What is going to happen? Oh, no. You do see it. Oh, and he gets go by the Potemkin Buster. And just like this. Just like this. Nikos Yuru takes it. Do a lot of things. Where is it? Where am I? Oh, I'm here. So I wanted to check this. Oh, no, it's not the losers. Okay, the losers. Uh, brackets. Yeah, this is losers, brackets. Yeah, this is losers, brackets. Okay, that being said, here we go on to the next battle. It's gonna be Atemu versus Aziz. Both players extremely strong with their own characters. I'm off to lose 10 0 mirror. Nah, don't say this. Don't be like this. Shiranodo Bell Jurak. So, this is So, this is it. 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 So, なんか、知らのデベルジョラックが、えっと、日本までなんか知られてる小説なんて思わなかったんですごい面白いなと思います。Okay, and here we go with the corner pressure from Z. Yeah, it is. No, from from Atemu actually. Very nicely done from Atemu. No, Z actually. I'm sorry. Gets the kill with the grab. Very nice. A patient from him and immediate start of the round from Atemu using the backflip kill into the. Uh, Beyblade, that being said, Z just not out at all. He gets the huge, huge, huge corner combo right there using uh, thanks to the uh, 4HS counter hit, and this should seal the deal. Boom. Good stuff from Z. And just to put, to take the first uh, map, and we got. Okay, here we go on to the second match. <laughs> Back foot here for both players, of course. Of course. You're good. Oh, very nice tick pressure right there. Tick throw, uh, tick command throw by uh, Zeej using the momentum of the clone and again with the grab. Oh my lord, the fully charged us. Is that Timu gonna take it? No, he doesn't. Oh, and the Fukyo this time around, you wanna grab me? I can grab you as well, says Atem. No Fukyo right there. Oh my lord, the Kohones on Zeej, senpai man. Look at this. Look at this. I'm the real. I'm the real Nagori Yuki now. Goodbye. Good stuff from uh, uh, Aziz. Manages to take the first round of the second match. Nago Mirror, I see, of course. Very nice confirms right there from Aziz. Gets the juggle into the wall break. He's gonna get the positive bonus. Oh, that was a big, 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 big. Ooh, okay. Get the Shizu Yuki. And nice Beyblade from Aziz. Gets out of the corner. Gets the tick pressure. And gets the quick dust. Oh, and finally, I think we pops the burst. Oh, no. No, no. No, 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 no. Okay, Zij gets the second match. Let's see if Atemu sticks to his plan, and he does. This is the commitment from Atemu. He cannot change characters anymore. If he loses this one, it is over. Okay, here we go. Zij gets the pressure. Commits to the Beyblade. Catches his opponent pressing buttons right there. But fortunately for Atemu, he did have a uh, he did have a burst to make himself free of pressure. So the zoning game, ah, uh, good recognition from Zij. He gets the 4S, and here we go. This should seal the deal. Good stuff from Zij. Goes straight into the uh, overdrive. Doesn't even need the full animation to kill. And just like this, we are on set point. Oh, double Fukio man. Oh, you got hit by the. Uh, I do believe it's a 3k again. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But that being said, here we go with the wall break by Atemu. Finally getting something going on for him. Oh, Lord. The 2s. Uh, the 2s hits Zij out of the air from his Beyblade. Okay, here we go. The tick pressure Atemu. Trying to get something started. He. Uh, oh, he gets hit by the Beyblade, of course. Obviously. And Zeech finally out of the corner. Probably want to. Yeah, he's going to want to seal the deal. Oh, and uses the overdrive to make it so that his blood gauge lowers as much as possible before starting his onslaught. After a wall break, he's going to get the uh, positive bonus. Here we go. Oh, Lord, the Fuki probably tried to bait that uh, to bait that overdrive. And just like this, I think he's going to take it. Finally, finally puts one. Can they hire people that can make stable servers? I really hope they could. 
We have to ask Zynek for this, man. And here we go with a D-Take pressure, man. Oh, Lord. And Atemu popped the burst. Did get the command grab, though. Ah, he's got the closest counter hit. Again, he went for the command throw, but this time around, Zeej sniffed it out. He gets a very nice corner combo. He even gets the... Oh, Lord. Okay. He didn't want to uh, get the wall break, apparently. And this might come and bite him in the butt, bro. Ah, and he gets... Now, yeah, this is over. Good stuff from Atemu. Finally puts one on uh, the board. Good stuff from both, though. I feel like uh, Zeej might have been a little bit too reliant, a little bit too uh, passive on that uh, on that uh, third match. That being said, very nice grab right there from Zeej. He's not sleeping. Ah, uh, catches the back dash with the 4S. And with the closest, ah, uh, gets the opening with the uh, 3K. Very nice on the ground. And my lord. Oh my goodness. Atimu just using the Beyblade right. <gasps> Oh, no, and just like this, boom, Aziz takes the first round of the third, or the fourth match, I'm sorry. Let's see how this turns out. Oh, here we go, the pressure from Atemu goes for the command grab again, a little bit too early on it though, but Zeej still had in mind to backdash it. He's gonna get a lot of damage right there, thanks to it. Zeej is in very good position right there, does the back from Q. Uh, uh, but Atimu not out of it yet in the wake up! Is he gonna hit? No, yeah, this it! Oh no! Very nice awareness from Atimu to actually RC out of it. And here we go with the YRC. The the yes, the YRC. Oh, no punish! Oh no, no, yeah, this it! Are you gonna die? Oh wait, no, not like this! And just like this, Atimu pops the freaking blood rage and just ends up Believe in people believing in you, man. Anyways, here we go. This is the revenge match from Neko Jiru, I do believe, during the last uh, Brojo Cup. Arigato gozaimashu, Atemu-san. Itsuma sankai itadaki arigato gozaimashu. And here we go with the... Oh, start of around immediate. Slider head from Neko Jiru. Oh! Oh, oh no. And the air grab from Neko Jiru gets the... Oh, no. Oh, yep. Yeah. You got scoop. And just like this, man, Neko Jiru gonna take the first round so quickly, man. So freaking quickly, that was crazy, man. Good stuff from Nikos. Very nice start of the round, takes it with a uh, near perfect. Again, okay, Arinia. Yeah, trying right away to. Oh, Lord, that was big right there from Arinia. Almost got the juggle. Good stuff. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure. Arinia going with a very, very. Oh, no, that was very nice. Very nice grab. From Arena, he gets the grab a second time. And is this gonna kill? Yeah, this is gonna kill. This is definitely gonna kill. I think. Yes, it is. Yes. Bye bye, Pot. And with a perfect of his own. I do believe the previous round was a perfect as well. Okay, here we go with. It's not over till it's over. No slider head and up. Uh, Mega fist. Okay, he secures the. Oh no, you hate to see it. Very nice jump in right there from Arena. Ooh, good stuff from Arena using the uh, the guard point of the minions in order to make it so that Nikoju does not punish them. Oh, very nice back mega fist. Okay, you can see Arena trying to put some distance between him. Oh, Lord. And this is going to do. Good Lord, Arena. That pressure was crazy. I hate to see it. Oh, no, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> Nikos Inu, the thief! The thief, I say! Good lord! Nikos Inu, what a thief! That was so unfortunate, though, for Marania. They didn't quite calculate the, uh... They didn't calculate the distance between his opponent and him. And just like this, man, Nikos Inu in prime position to actually apply pressure right now. He's got the corner position, got the flick. Got the Garuda impact, he tried to go for it. Upon best start this time around, he's gonna get the... Woo! Nothing, actually. Okay, forced to pop the burst. Very nice experience right there from Marania. Ah, uh, the air to her in favor of Nikoji is gonna get a... nope. Let's see, and the butt fall. You hate to see it. Oh, no one home, but still the 2D far enough to catch Nikoji's back dash. Very nice use of the minions right there. A slider head. Oh, and the butt fall again. Ah, uh, don't get grabbed. Uh, and my lord catching uh, Rani on his way down, man. Holy freaking lord, that was crazy. Good stuff from Nikos, you know, on point, man. Good lord. 
We can out over to the sword. Very nice use of the uh, dash cancel right there from Arania. Managed to seal the grab. Oh, very nice shimmy from Arania. Gonna get a big combo right there, all things considered. Decide to use the overdrive in order to get the hard knockdown. I shouldn't have said this, yeah. I shouldn't, man. I, I jinxed it. I definitely jinxed it. It's my fault. Entirely my fault. Oh, here you go with the back mega fist, man. He's gonna get a lot of mileage out of it. Look at the damage. Look at the damage, man. Oh, very nice back dash. Woo! Okay, good stuff. Night slider hit. Ah, good use of the guard point yet again of the minions. Ah, try to go for a grab, but no. Nikoji just sent by on point. Oh, you did. Oh, no. Oh, and just like this. Yeah, good lord, Nikos, you do the freaking uh, god. Uh, he's on two. Good, good, good stuff from Nikos, you do. Oh, good lord, man. Good lord. What is Arnia gonna do, man? What is he gonna do? Okay, he's got the 2D right there. Managed to get the D, uh, the knockdown. Nikos, you holding on to his. Holding on to his burst. Again, the trade, unfortunately, for Nikos, you do. Oh, Slider hit very nicely done. Here we go with the minions and the charge dust for the wall break. It always goes like this. Like, Arania manages to get the life lead and then something goes wrong. <laughs> Nikoji gets his turn back and then he wins. <laughs> it usually goes like this. So let's see how this pans out. That being said, Arania did get the first round this time around. Ah, very nice knockdown from Nikoji. Too far to get. Oh, okay. Very nice. Jump out. Right there. Okay, you're, oh, very nice grab from Arnie. Uh, okay, he's got the knockdown. Oh, very nice use of the minions to catch the back dash. Oh, my lord, look at all everything. Oh, uh, the Garuda impact is here. Oh, no. Uh, too far, no. This is so unfortunate for Nikos. Very nice juggles right there from Arnie. Look at this. That combo was sick. That combo was sick. Sick, don't lose. <laughs> Please don't lose. Oh. Uh, Oh, okay, Garuda that impact. Oh, uh, no. A very nice back dash. It's not over till it's over. Look at the defense of Nikojiro, man. This man is unconditionable. It is crazy. Okay, one, two, two. Arania staying alive, man. Staying alive. <laughs> Holy freaking lord. That combo is crazy, right? I've never seen this before. That being said, here we go. The butt fall again. Catches the back dash of uh, Arania. Oh, and here we go. The pod buster. Nikojiro is tired of... No, my Nikos for the reset! The Nikos Yuru special! <laughs> Nikos Yuru loves to do this. Okay, we are on set point. Is Nikos Yuru gonna get his revenge from Arania? Oh, very nice. Very nice. Um, let's call it Shimmy right there. But Nikos Yuru does have uh, the lead. Oh, very nice jump out from Arania. Fortunately, gets scooped by the jump. The Garuda. No, not the Garuda. The, oh, Lord, this is looking bad. Uh, okay, fine. Oh, no. Okay, goes for the uh, cross-up. Oh, Lord, it's hard to keep up. Oh, no, you hate to see it. No! No, he missed it. He missed his spot buster because he had the win right there. I hope he's not gonna... I hope he's not gonna... Oh, no. And here we go with the Mega Fist. And just like this, Nikoji eliminates Arania. Here we go. So, Takarin versus Zeech. Zeech from Singapore, the... Nagori Yuki, the actually best Nagori Yuki in, uh, in Southeast Asia, I do believe. Oh, you did? Okay, that's cool to know. Thanks, uh, Pokok, for uh, keeping the tabs. That is uh, pretty good to know. Oh, he did! He did! You're right, you're right. He did. He actually did. He, he actually did. You're right. I think he actually managed to win the tournament at that time. No, you're you're totally right. My bad. And uh, yeah, so Zij, an individual from uh, from Singapore. I do believe he is the best Nagori Yuki in Southeast Asia currently, together with uh, Gyambu as well. Gyambu, another ex excellent uh, Nagori Yuki player. And then lost. Oh, okay, okay, my bad, my bad. You're right, you're right. And that being said, here we go with the start of the round and Zij having a lot of troubles just making his way in, man. As you can see right now, and this is going to be enough to kill. Good stuff from Takanin, making full use of the new combos that uh, that Axel actually benefited from. In order to get the kill, we go the jump in from Zij. Uh, not getting anything out of it. Okay, making good use of the Beyblade. Oh, and here we go with the command grab. This time around, going with the 4S again with the command grab. Unfortunately, this time around, Rain was on point. Okay, Takarin putting some 
distance between him and his opponent. And you can see, like, probably Zij waiting for Takani to get the negative penalty, yeah. Yeah, he's waiting for Takani to get the negative penalty. Good, patient from Zij. Yeah, he goes for the quick dust. And secures the kill. Good stuff from Zij, man. Believe in Nago. Exactly, believe in Zij. Oh, very nice stuff. And here we go with the back Fukio into front Fukio into grab. Oh, no, he couldn't quite catch. Oh, and here we go, the wake up. Golden burst from Takarin. Okay, back to the neutral. No, and is right there. That being said, it was a little bit too far, too, too, too high to get any types of entire. This. Here we go, the back. Yes, for the. Oh, for. Oh, very nice 2K2D right there. Oh, he gets his back dash with the clone, and Zeej is gonna take the first match, actually. Good stuff, man. Believe in you. Believe in you, Zeej. Believe. You just got to believe. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, that being said, here we go with the second match. Oh, very nice experience right there from Zeej manages to get drop for his blood. Couldn't get anything off of it, though. Uh, off of uh, the follow up, though. Oh, and the rainwater. The shimmy rainwater. Okay, very nice stuff. Almost got the uh, conversion station. Couldn't quite. Uh, couldn't quite. Oh no, it's okay. Here we go. He's got the pressure. Now, no one home. Try to make the jump in. This is gonna kill. Good stuff from Takai. He takes the first round of this second of this second match. Sorry. Let's see how this works out. Oh lord. And this is Lin Sengiki Land. Zeej has to, yeah, has to enter it. And here we go, the standing P Man, the, the bane of Zeej. Zeej absolutely hates this freaking move. Oh lord, and he gets hit by the Lin Sengiki. And here we go with the Rainwater. Oh, and the Quick Dust for the opening. Zeej finally pops a burst. Goes, oh lord, and the double Fukyo. Oh, finally gets the opening with the clone. Oh, he gets his back dash with the... Uh, too far to get anything off of... Oh, Lord, is this gonna kill? It is! And just like this, he brings it back, man. He brings it back. You just need one good interaction, man. One interaction is usually enough in a game like Guilty Gear in order to bring it back. And Zeej has just proven it once again. Okay, a little bit of a bad jump in right there, and here we go with Takarin going for the spake cross-up. Gives a lot of damage, has a huge life lead, but you really need one interaction. Ah, uh, here we go with the air to air from Takarin, and he gets the conversion station that was sick! Is he gonna kill? Oh, almost! That would've been sick if he did. Ah, 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 you can see, yeah, yeah, Takarin fishing for them, uh... Fishing for that. Oh no, and he gets jumped in. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Don't break the wall. Don't break the wall. Don't break the wall. Uh. Oh lord. And the triple rainwater to invite Zeech to press a button just like this. Akari puts one on the board. <laughs> that was so slick of, uh, of Takari. Good stuff. That was crazy, man. Rainy day indeed. <laughs> Here we go to jump in and Takarin on point with the entire That being said, Zeej didn't commit to any uh, aerial attack, so he was able to block it again with the Rain Water Man. It's been the bane, the bane of Zeej, man. Ah, and the trade in favor of Takarin, unfortunately for him, but it's okay. Zeej was able to get a little bit out of pressure using the back dash. Not too far to get the punish on the snail, that is. My lord, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? He tries to go for the jump in. Unfortunately, nobody home, and again with the Rain Water. Shimmy and that unfortunate burst from Zeej. This is gonna be a huge dust combo right there from Takarin. That was a pretty tough situation it was, man. And here we go with the uh, killing combo for Takarin. He is currently in the lead. Okay. Oh, Lord, and again with the Rainwater, man. Ah. Optimization station from Takarin. Ah, he gets the hit with the 2HS counter hit. Again with the Lensengeki. Oh, Lord, that 6P, man, that was so cheeky. Okay, here we go. Oh, very nice stuff from 
Zeech couldn't quite get the end juggle though. This is so unfortunate, but it's still okay. He's got Takani in the corner. This is where you want to have, obviously, Axel. Oh, very nice concept right there from... Woo! Oh no, from Takani, he's gonna get the kill, is he? Yeah, he is, he is, this is it. Good stuff from Takani. He goes up two to one, and we're gonna get... Welcome to the Brojos. That being said, here we go. <clears throat> I have faith. Have faith, Zeech. Believe in yourself. Okay, no jump in right there. Unfortunate for him, but it's still okay. So how is your stream, Smoiv? I hope everything went good. Again, that being said, here we go. And the pressure in the corner from Zeech. Unfortunately, he commits to the Rekka. But uh, Takani was probably wary of Zeech trying to, uh, well, probably uh, cancel his Rekka into another special in order to continue his offense. But no, Zeech was very, very reasonable and he did it. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh my lord, welcome everybody. This is the Brojo Cup, the online tournament which takes place every Monday starting 9 p.m. Japanese time in Japan. My name is Estian Kainan and you are all very welcome to the stream. Since you come from Smoib stream, Smoib, an individual I absolutely adore. Godlike Gold Lewis, a very nice individual. Everybody's welcome here. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. This is the uh, Losers Final. We still have about one, two, three, four matches. Uh, five matches actually before the end of the tournament so sit tight guys this is going to be absolutely great and that being said here we go with uh, the pressure from Takani Takani definitely looking forward to taking this set from ZZ who absolutely abhorred this matchup for understandable reason and again Takani using the 6p right after the Lensengeki in order to punish any attempt from Zij to uh well to to uh get his turn back basically he plays Smash Bros nice 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 that's that's awesome man here we go. Oh Lord! Oh, he goes for the quick burst. Uh, the quick dust. I'm sorry. The quick dust. Yeah, but Takarin was aware of it. And here we go with the toe. Finally, he goes for the command grab. No, and the wake up BP, and you are dead. Oh Lord! And just did, just like this. Takarin is on set points. Zij absolutely needs this one if he wants to stay in the tournament. No one home run. The very nice blocks right there from Takarin, even using the. Uh, faultless defense and the instant block at the same time to push Zij away again with the air to air grab man the air grab from Takanin oh no no one home with the uh, with the uh, what's it called the um, the Beyblade you can see yeah uh, Takanin fishing for the Beyblade using the the rain water ah uh, danger 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 no don't get open oh no no Oh, the pressure is unreal, man. What are you doing, Zed? What are you gonna do? Ah, you can see, yeah, the pressure is real. Oh, no, and he got over it. Ah, here we go with the fake cross up. And this should not do, actually. Yeah. Ah, uh, you can see. Oh, Lord, Takanin, man. Ah, Takanin, why is the opening? And this is gonna do. Gets the burst and punishes accordingly. Takanin takes it. Oh, that was gonna be cool. He never says, Tsu boy, man. Tsu boy. Has been playing out of his mind during this tournament, not gonna lie. First time that he actually makes it to the uh, the winner's final, actually, I believe. So yeah, definitely looking forward to uh, this, to his performance right now. We'll see, we'll see. Let's see how this this uh, this pans out. Okie dokie, let's see how this pans out. Tsuboib, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Matsuboib, in this case. Here we go with the kickflip again from Kohide and wake up DP from Tsuboy, but man, Kohide always popping that gold burst, man, all the freaking time. Very nice recognition from Tsuboy that he went, oh no, and the wake up, the wake up overdrive, you hate to see it. Look at the damage, by the way. Look at the damage, by the way. Look at the damage, by the way. <laughs> Look at the damage. Like, the, like Tsuboy exploded, like literally just on one sequence. Tsuboy completely exploded. That was crazy, man. Did you see that damage? It was crazy, man. Okay, and anyways, here we go with the air to air. Very nice recognition from Kohide. He even got the juggle. It's boy trying to get out of the corner. Trying to uh, get a jump in, unfortunately. Kohide also is using a very, very, very fast character. A very highly mobile character. Okay, very nice jump in from Kohide. He finally has the opportunity to bring Tsuboy in the corner. And this should actually, unfortunately, do for... Um, for Tsuboy! Here we go, Kohide goes up a 1-2-0. Let's see if Tsuboy actually decides to 
Uh, use Happy Chaos, that is not the case. Here we go with a oh, very nice uh, dash into the 2k2d from Tsuboy. Unfortunately, Kohide is already back on his feet and bringing the heat. Very nice for us right there from Kohide. Goes for the safe jump, gets the counter hit into immediate Ventania. This is gonna kill. <laughs> wow, that was so, so close to kill. We are looking at the kickflip for the kill though. Good stuff from Kohide. On uh, one round away from taking the second match as well. Very nice. 2D from Tubo gets the... Uh, oh lord. <laughs> immediate immediate Nasante, man. Right when Tubo was looking to throw his uh, his clone at Kohide. Good punish right there for Kohide. Gets the kickflip yet again. And the conversion station off of the quick Roman cancel. Nice, decent damage right there. So boy, looking pretty grim right now, not gonna lie. He's gonna get though a Roman cancel into potentially the wall break. Yes, he will. That being said, Koid is on the verge of getting two bars, man. What is Tsuboy going to do? Oh, again. Oh, Lord, that, that DP, man. Okay, finally, here we go. Tsuboy got the combo. Is it gonna kill? It is. Oh, he goes for the reset. I think he could have killed if he wasn't. Oh, but it's okay. Oh, Lord, that was so close, though. I think he could have got the kill if he just did the regular combos with the wall break. I think he wasn't quite aware that it did so much damage. That being said, here we go. With Akohide, man. Gonna get the wall break. Good stuff. Here we go. The wad. Oh, Lord. Oh, no grab. And the grab. Here we go from Kohide. Oh, no. And even got the burst. That was a quick second match as well from Kohide. Gets the second match. If he gets the following match as well, he we are going to be looking at Tsuboy being sent to the loser's bracket and uh, Kohide advancing to the grand finals. Very good with the cannon drill. Reset the pressure. And with the dash, Kohide... Uh, uh, Kohide... Uh, how do you say it? Committing to the Nasante. That makes it... Wow, oh, Lord, a big counter hit cannon, cannon drill. This is going to do a lot of damage, by the way. <gasps> Oh my lord, it's not gonna kill, but it's gonna do, yeah, some pretty decent damage, 60% in your teeth. Oh, and the wake up DP from boy, not afraid, I'm not afraid, man. He goes for the uh, overhead, gonna get the wall break, probably gonna go for a, yeah, reset combo. Yeah, catches the back dash. Oh, he goes for the alpha blade, goes for the cross up, he tried to bait the, oh no. Oh, you hate to see it. Gets it by the uh, third hit of the standing S of Giovanna and just like this Kohide is on match point what is gonna happen okay Tsuboy seals the gets the uh the knockdown he's gonna get the wall break okay, very nice very nice front dash from Kohide Kohide pressing button gets hit by the uh by the Tsukiyaki from Tsuboy he's on the verge of taking it but you really only need one Good interaction, and just like this, Tsubo getting jumped for days, man. No 6P, man. This is so unfortunate. Oh, I think he got hit. Oh, no, you hate to see it. And just like this, Kohide sends Tsubo in the loser's bracket. Loser semi-final indeed, Nekojiro versus Takarin. The, the, this, this match, we have seen this match so many times. And it went either ways so many times that I have no idea who is going to make it. I do believe last time Nikoji took it, maybe? Ah, no, he didn't actually. Takarin took it last time. So this is, again, this is the revenge arc of Nikoji. Like, like trying to get rid of every single person who either sent him to the loser bracket or it elim eliminated him from the, the tournament. Okay, anyways, here we go. Both players. Oh, looking at a very, very... Ah, oh, but that being said, Nikoji is out of burst, whereas Takarin has both his burst, uh, has burst and uh, a life lead as well. We got the oh you hate to see it. Ah, very nice recognition right there from Takani using 2K2D2 punish. Very nice air to air grab from Nikojiro. Okay, he's got finally the meaty. This is not gonna kill. Wow, this is so close, so close but so far. Oh he goes with the mega fist for the kill! Nikojiro the thief! The thief, I said the thief! <laughs> Good stuff from Nikojiro manages to take this one. He gets the wall, the, the the butt slam, if I might say. Oh no! He tries to read a jump back from Nik from Takarin. Fortunately, Takarin wasn't there at all. As here we go, the slider head. He tries to 
He tries to, uh, to... He tries to target the, uh... Oh lord, and the reset with the RC into the pod buster is not even a kill, though. And, uh, now to make a fist. Unfortunately, timer there. Okay, not over till it's over. And he goes for the hammer ball for the kill. Just like this, man. Just like this, Nikoji, you're taking the lead 1 to 0. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord. Good lord. Okay, we're gonna go back to neutral and Takani trying to, to uh, chip away at Nikohito's life ever so slightly using the zoning tools of Takani and Takani gets scooped by the Potemkin Buster right off the bat. We'll go to slide ahead and the Mega Fist, he goes for the quick Roman cancel to catch Takani off guard. And Takani holding on to his tension bar, here we go to jump in. Oh lord, and he got hit by the rainwater. That wasn't really the rainwater though. Oh. Oh lord, yeah, you can see Takani definitely wanting this. And he goes for the roll, my lord! How? Why would you decide to do this? And it still works. Ah, no entire right there from Nikuju. That was unfortunate. And get scooped by the grab. This is not gonna be enough to kill. I think, yeah, Nikuju is definitely gonna hold on to it. Yeah, yeah, he was gonna hold on to his verse, obviously. Good stuff from, uh, good stuff from Nikuji right there. Uh, from Takani, actually. And from Nikuji as well to hold on to his verse. I felt like that was the good, the, the correct answer. Okay, big jump in right there from Takarin. Too far to get anything off of it, though. Oh, here we go with the far P, man. Holy freaking lord. And the converted station into the snail. Oh, good lord. Oh, okay, here we go with the low from Takarin and the corner pressure. And Nikoji again with the Mega Fist, man. Where the impact? And Takarin just jumping out of it. Oh lord, that was crazy good. This is gonna, yeah, this is gonna kill. Oh what? That was strange. I felt like he could have killed him with the. Uh, with just the um, what's it called? Well, he knows better than I do. I felt like the the combo was just enough. When he did the the world, he did a uh, uh, axle bomber, and then I felt like another axle bomber would have killed the deal. But then again, I'm not I'm not an axle player, so I'm, I can't I can't I can't like I can't actually say whether or not it would have worked or not. That being said, if we go with the the world again, and the com oh look at the combos, man. Oh, the big two S counter hit entire. Wow, wow. Oh, no, too far to get the Axel Bomber. Oh, and the big Mega Fish, what are you gonna do? <laughs> because you're going for the Pod Buster. Ah, uh, he tried to time his MIDI so that it catches Takani trying to jump out of the corner. Oh, to jump out of the pressure. Rina jump in right there from Takani again, too far to get anything off of it. Oh, Lord. Shorrento. Good. Oh no, you hate to see it. And just like this, Takarin actually takes the lead. One round in the lead. This is not much if you ask this, but it definitely it definitely counts in the end, especially like psychologically speaking. That being said, here we go, Nikoji. Not not a not a stranger to combats, so it should definitely do it. Actual bomba. <laughs> here we go with the Sen Len Sengeki. Okay, nobody home on the Mega Fist. Finally forces Nikoji to pop the burst. There we go with the jump in. Finally, Nikoji getting the Pod Buster and half of your life is gone. Good impact. And he goes for another Pod Buster. What are you gonna do? Wait, he could have killed, no? Oh, you're dead. Oh, good boy. And just like this, just like this, Nikoji brings it back, man. The freaking the steal. Nikoji the thief. The thief, man, I tell you. The thief, he's a thief. <laughs> Good stuff from Nikojito. Good lord. Oh, that was crazy, man. That was so crazy. Anyways, here we go with the Mega Fist. No! We're going to jump in. Nowhere two airs right there. Nikojito gets the jump in. He goes with the Mega Fist. Wow, gets the close, the far S right there. Meaty. And again gets the entire with the 2S. And Takarin is going to get the D. Actual bumper! <laughs> oh, he couldn't quite get the juggle, unfortunately for you, and you can see Nikoji trying to peep his way again. 
Oh no, 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 Nicolulu! Good stuff from Zagain though, using the RC to uh, to recognize that. Now, actually, bad dashing, uh, Takain bad dashing during the RC of Nicolulu, who attempted to Pazim Buster him. Very, very nice. Uh, yeah, drop the drop, yeah. Uh, it didn't drop, but Takarin noticed that uh, Nikoriju used a uh, Blue Roman cancel when Takarin was about to reach the ground, so Takarin, he probably guessed that Nikoriju... Oh! No! Why? Why? This is not more! This is so strange! I feel like, in that particular instance, uh, Pot should be able to... Should, should have the right to... Uh, oh no! And the burst has been made, and this is so unfortunately... And what? Takarin drops a very, very uh, uncharacteristic drop of the, of the dust combo from Takarin. Yeah, Takarin definitely feeling himself and gets the kill with the Lin Sengeki. Okay, we are on set point. Is Takarin going to be able to send Nikojiro out of the uh, out of the corner? Out of the tournament. And here we go with the Fatemian Buster. Oh, the big far S counter hit, man. It's not over till it's over. We go with the flick for the corner for the wall break. Good stuff from Nikojiru, and he goes for the quick dust for the kill. With a perfect, by the way. Big statement. Nikojiru not out of this yet. He definitely needs the following round if he wants to stay in the corner. The oh no, and the butt. The butt fall. Nikojiru looking good. Oh no, he tried to read a jump, but unfortunately, Takarin didn't commit to any jump. Oh, and the big Mega Fist, man. The double Mega Fist. Ah, here we go. The Garuda impact. Oh, and he got the. Oh, and he goes for the grab. And just like this, we're going on to the last match, man. The last match of this set, Nikojiru puts one on the board yet again. Good lord, Nikojiru never out. The thief is never out. So let's see how this pans out. The entire air, fortunately, for Nikojiru, he didn't commit to any... To any... Uh, oh lord, that was a very unfortunately whiffed grab from Akari. You gotta believe, Pokok, you have to believe. Oh, the big Mega Fist jump in. He tried to bait the burst, unfortunately, Takani was way too patient. Oh, Lord, and this is gonna kill. And just like this, Tekojiru is on the verge of taking it with all oh, Lord of bringing it back, man. I kinda wanna see a Tsuboi versus Nikojiru uh, uh, loser's final. I kinda wanna see it, not gonna lie. Okay, here we go with the slider head and Nikojiru trying to. Oh no, gets scooped by the command grab though. The command grabber got command grab. Ah, here we go with the snail man. And to... yeah, Nikojiru not wanting to commit to. Oh lord. Very nice uh, recognition from Takari. Oh no, and Nikojiru again getting hit. Oh, okay, fine. No, and it, it, it trades. It's unfortunate for him. He's going down to the wire, I think. Very nice grab right there. Uh, the tech from Nikojiro. Oh, snail. You snail. It is going down to the last round of the last match, ladies and gentlemen, man. Oh, who's going to take it? No, again with the 2S counter hit. Good stuff from Takani. He's got the advantage, not going to lie. He's got the jump in. This is looking bad for Nikojiro, not going to lie. I, yeah, you can see Nikoju trying to get the slider head. Not easy at all. Again with the 2S, man. Ah, man, and the jump in, man. Things are not looking very good for him. Ah, uh, this is really tough. Ah, oh, yeah, and this is gonna do. Good stuff from... No! Okay, one more chance. One more chance. If, if he makes the comeback, he's a god, yeah. If he, if he made the comeback right there, he would have been a god. No, but good stuff for him. This final, this is going to be none other than Tsuboi versus Takarin. Tsuboi, the rising star of Guilty Gear, a 18-year-old chip player, extremely strong at it. That is, he actually even managed to uh, send the previous Bojo Cup winner, who actually managed to eliminate Dark Necro in the previous uh, tournament. This same Tsuboi managed to eliminate this, uh, not to eliminate, but send, send this champion to the loser's bracket. So, very strong uh, chip player, as you can see. As you will see, actually. So, uh, please keep your eyes on the screen. And that being said, here we go with Tsuboi. Finding the opening against Takarin. He's gonna get the wall break. All in on the world, exactly. Very nice forest right there from Tsuboi. Hits Takarin out of the air. 
And here we go with the grab. Just like this, Tsuboi takes it with the perfect. Good lord, Tsuboi on fire, man. He definitely is. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, no entire right there from Tsuboi. That being said, Takonin did find the opening. Try to go for an OTG, I guess. Ah, and that was a big, a big 6 HS, man. Here we go with the... Oh, he tried for, to go for an empty, but Takarin didn't get hit at all. Oh, Lord. Yeah, Takarin also mentioned that he absolutely hates playing his chip. So let's see how this pans out. Very nice grab from Takarin. Get some momentum back. Ah, and that shimmy, though. Is this going to kill? No, it's not. No, no entire... No entire... Uh, here we go. And he goes for the Alpha Blade. He tried to go for an empty low. Unfortunately, gets scooped by the grab. Reaction grabs from Takarin. One round apiece. Both opponents have their burst, by the way. Ah, the very nice 2S. Counter hit right there from Takarin. Ah, okay. Very nice bag. That's on the uh, Hashimoto. The Hashimoto, I'm sorry. Here we go with the clone. Goes for the overhead. Unfortunately, yeah, Takarin too good for the... Very good defense from Takarin. Okay, no uh, no snail from Takarin. Ah, uh, this is unfortunate. Takarin tried to enter, but a little bit too late on it and got counter hit in the... Oh, okay, here we go with the jump in. Takarin, nice. Found the timing to... Uh, wow, to challenge the jump in from Tsuboi. Okay, he caught the bag dash. Is he gonna get a full combo? Yes, he is. Probably gonna go for a reset. Yes, he does. Couldn't quite get it. We go with the rainwater again with the rainwater. Uh, no, we couldn't quite catch him. Ah, and gets hit by the jump back. Yes. Good stuff from Takarin. Takes the first match of this set. Let's see how this pans out. Is Tsuboi going to potentially... Nope. Not switch to Happy Chaos. He stays, sticks with, with, uh, with Chip. Here we go, Skiaki. Unfortunately, get jumped on yet again by Takanin. Takanin using this opportunity to switch uh, sides. We go with the Alpha Blade. Nice blocks by uh, Takanin being very patient. Ah, using the Rainwater, man. Almost got the juggle, by the way. And he. Ah, here we go with Tsuboi using the overhead Roman Castle in order to get a combo, unfortunately. Takanin managed to block this overhead very, very efficiently, by the way. <laughs> The simple grab for the pressure, good stuff. And here we go with Tsuboi going with the Roman cancel, the, uh, the, uh, what's called the, um, command grab. Ah, this should do... No, too far to get the 2S, uh, but it's still okay, he manages to seal the deal with the 2K. Good stuff from Tsuboi, staying alive. Okay, here we go. Oh, no one home. <laughs> A lot of wave button over there, but Takarin didn't really have the confidence to try to punish it. Oh, very nice jump out right there from Takarin. L ended up landing on Tsuboi. Ah, and that far S counter hit. This is going to be a lot of damage. And Tsuboi using the overdrive to secure a hard knockdown. Added to the positive bonus from breaking the wall. Just from the safe jump. And the blade. And I think he should be able to block. Yes, he did. Oh, no. This is unfortunate. Okay, good stuff from Tsuboi. Very nice confirms he get the overdrive yet again. Let's see how this spins out. The drop in. Forces Takarin to pop the burst. And Tsuboi again with the third confirm off of the overdrive, man. Third in a row. Young man reactions there. Young man reactions. Stage Kaimas, Okarimasta. Good stuff from Tsuboi, man. Good stuff, good stuff. Young man reaction. Okay, so Rue is going. Well, Rue, uh, also known as Tsuboi, is going to change the uh, stage. Skoshi Laguika Modes. So Rue is uh, Tsuboi, by the way. And uh, Tsuboi is going to change the uh, stage because he feels some sort of lag, apparently. Oh, that was definitely a young man reaction. Three times in a row. Uh, Confirmed into the overdrive. That was definitely young man's reaction. Th th that was, yeah, that was pretty good. Good stuff from Rue. I'm telling you, this guy is the future. This dude, and uh, there's another one called, uh, he's a happy chaos player, by the way, and his name is Poka as well, and he's 14 years old, and he's extremely strong. 
クロスプレイの問題か、えー、が早く PC 買わなきゃ。<笑>大丈夫ですよ。Oh, I know. Yeah, Poker is a very, very strong,、uh, happy g o s p l a y e r 14 year old. He managed to win the Tatakai Tuesday. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think you'll, you'll enjoy playing against him. I still think you have the,、uh, the upper handle, Tiger Pop, but、uh, he's very, very strong. I didn't have the pleasure of playing against him, but just watching his gameplay, yeah, he's, he's something. He's definitely something. He's, well, he's only 14 years old, also.、So、that's the most important thing. That means that he has a lot of,、uh, he has a lot of range to,、uh, to, to improve and to get even better. That's very, very, very impressive. Can you wriggle with the overhead from Tsuboy? Unfortunately, couldn't quite get. Oh, okay, finally forces the burst off. Of Takarin. Very nice bait. And again, man. Young man reactions right there. He doesn't get the kill because this super doesn't deal any damage. And he goes, Whoa, oh, oh, the Alpha Blade. Is this gonna hit?、Uh, oh, and the grab, man. Good stuff, good stuff. That was pretty hype, not gonna lie. Good stuff. In that particular instance,、uh, Tsubo, you should use the aerial Alpha Blade, I feel. I mean, it would have been the same, probably. I don't really know. Yeah, that was pretty sick. That was sick, that was sick. Here we go, the Alpha Blade. He goes for the empty low. Again with the gram T grab. Good stuff from t s u b o He's going completely ham. Goes for. Oh, Lord. Well, Lord. What the hell is going on, Ru? Holy freaking Lord. This guy ate a freaking lion today. It's crazy. And here we go. That was a sick. That was a sick round. This is going in the highlights, by the way. I'm, I'm calling it. I'm definitely calling it. And look in here we go with the、uh, 2K entire into the. Oh, okay, here we go with the punish right there from Tsuboy. Goes for the grab, man. Tsuboy is feeling himself right now. He definitely is, man. Okay, here we go with the jump in. He's gonna get the juggle. This is gonna. Oh! He got the burst! He got the burst! He's gonna go with the resets. He got the reset! Here we go with the Alpha Blade. Okay, he doesn't commit too much. Good stuff. Goes for the overhead and the 2K 2D for the kill. Tsuboy takes the lead, man. 2 to 1. On the verge of eliminating his senpai, Takarin. Holy freaking lord. Good lord. That was crazy, man. Okay, here we go with Tsuboy. Oh, definitely. Unfortunately, he gets jumped on right there. Very unfortunate. It's still, still okay. He's got the DP to save him. He's got the sensu. Oh, too far to get the grab off of it. Very nice just to fend, by the way. Wait, Takarin, just block. I'm sorry. Instant block, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go with the resets again, man. s u b o y going with the resets. He goes for the front this time around. Oh, very nice side switch from s u b o y He's on the verge of taking it, man. Holy freaking lord. Okay, here we go with the Gamma Blade and the overhead for the kill. s u b o y on the verge of winning this one. Holy freaking lord. And getting his revenge against, well, getting his.、Uh, Shot back against Kohide. Let's see how this pans out. He goes for the empty low yet again. Ah, very nice back. That's right there from Takarin. Manages to grab. Okay, very nice awareness from Takarin. Punishing the、uh, lateral alpha blade attempt from Tsuboy. And just like this, we'll get this Tsuboy on the verge of. Oh, he catches. Oh no, and he'll go with the back dash from Takarin. Ooh, that was close. No, Roman cast right there from Tsuboy. This is unfortunate. He's gonna get hit by the Axel Bomber. The Axel playing Zengri. <laughs> exactly, man. This is exactly it. Okay, very nice. Where is. Oh, he's got the Sukiyaki and the、uh, overhead for the punish. Okay, here we go with Takarin. You can see he's struggling. He's struggling at all hell, man. t r y to keep Tsuboy out. Okay, Tsuboy going with the reset. Forcing, Taka forcing Takarin to、uh, pop the burst. And the DP. The DP man.、Uh, Tsuboy still holding on to his DP,、uh, to, to his burst. He goes for the Alpha Blade. Is this gonna be enough? It is! And just like this, Tsuboy eliminates eliminates Takarin. Holy freaking lord, that was crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the grand final Kohide versus Takarin. Not Takarin, I'm sorry. Versus Tsuboy. Tsuboy coming from the loser's bracket, as I have stated earlier on. He needs to win two sets in a row in order to win the tournament, where Asko he just needs to win one. Let's see how this pans out. Time to go to work, man. <laughs> okay, and here we go. Let's go. Immediate kick flip from the start of the round of Kohide. Kohide also manages to get a 6P counter hit. Already has t u b o y in the corner.、He、gets the jump in on Kohide. Forces him on the ground. And here we go with the grab. Possibly t u b o y、uh, tried to wake up with a DP. 
Ah, and the air to air in favor of Koi. They're gonna take it with the Ventania. Very nicely done. Good stuff from uh, Kohi that takes it, takes the first round with a perfect. And on to the second round, let's see how this pans out. Very nice part, uh, 2D right there from Kohi that gets the knockdown yet again. Okay, here we go with the jump in, unfortunately for it, so boy, nobody was home. And Kohi did with the take pressure and the confirm off of the, uh, off of the standing K, man. Another standing K. And the juggle into the wall break. Using the Ventania and the kick flip to seal the deal. Takes it with the perfect man. I think that's too perfect in, in a row, actually. Good lord, Kohida definitely out for blood. Definitely stating that, yeah, it's getting late. I need to win this tournament. Can we just go on, please? I need to finish this. I need to go to work tomorrow. This is the impression I'm getting. Very nice, very nice DP bait right there from Kohida. Gets the juggle. Ah, uh, okay, making Tsuboy a wary. Oh my lord, this is gonna be another perfect, by the way. Is that three perfect in a row? Good lord. <laughs> oh, Kohide on a freaking... On a freaking, uh, how do you say? Um, I was gonna say steering train... Uh, on, a, on a train... Um, I, I forgot how you say it. On a steamroll. That was crazy, man. Well, at least he's not gonna get the fourth... Uh, a fourth, like, perfect in a row. Very nice, Nasante. This is gonna do a lot of damage, though. Is that gonna kill? <laughs> Good lord, <laughs> it's almost gonna kill. That way, he's on a warpath, yeah, on a steamroll. And you're with the standing cake for the kill. And just like this, just like this, Kuid is on, <laughs> is on, on tournament point. Well, not tournament point. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. I think, uh, I think Rue is gonna ask for uh, a stage change, probably, potentially. Yeah. Or maybe, oh, he might try, uh, uh, Happy Chaos out, actually. Might as well, I guess. But Happy Chaos, is it a good answer towards against Giovanna, though? We shall see. Or maybe he just wanted to take a break. Let's see. I'll tell... We'll see it, we'll see it very, very soon. And yeah, he's gonna pop the, the Happy Chaos. Let's see how... Let's see if he can make Tiger pop Senpai happy. Let's see. Hopefully he will. Okie dokie. So this is potentially the last match of this tournament. Kohide absolutely not Kohide. Tsuboy absolutely needs to take this match and two other matches in a row in order to stay in the tournament. Decided to resort to using Happy Chaos. Let's see how this pans out. Oh god, unfortunately gets hit by the cannon drill right off the bat. Okay, forces the Oh good lord. Uh Kohide not afraid, man. Not afraid at all. Oh, Gary with the jump back. Very nicely done by Tsuboy. Finally get something away. Good lord. Oh, very nice entire. I'm gonna get the juggle. He got the, bur the, the the curse. I'm sorry. He's a little bit low on both. Yeah, he's a little bit low on... Oh, no. He doesn't have any... Uh, he didn't have any concentration anymore. Yeah, he was too low on concentration, unfortunately. He got curse instead of 6p. Yeah, this is really painful. And just like this, we are on tournament points, ladies and gentlemen. Please give your energy to Tsuboy, who really had a very nice run, not gonna lie. He did his best, this is definitely his best placement in this tournament so far. Ah, Lord. And here we go with Kohide not, not giving him any type of mercy whatsoever. But that being said, we are in a tournament. There's no room for mercy, only room for absolute, absolute uh, violence, if I might say. And here we go, oh, Lord, and get scooped. Yeah, this is over. It's over. Yeah, this is over. Yeah, oh, we're not. Here we go. Emergency first. Okay, one last chance. One last chance. One last chance from Tsuboy. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, he couldn't quite get the juggle. And he's gonna get... Oh, 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 Tsuboy. One more, one more. Come on. Get us our air six. No air six. There's no air six. What is he gonna do? He doesn't have the air six. Oh, no, and again with the jumping. No, this is so unfortunate. And just like this.